Yo, what's up? Uh, really quick, just want to say that this was a really good episode with Steve Grant. We got into a lot of interesting topics, a lot of controversial stuff as well. But I will say this quick disclaimer. There was a lot of profanity used in this episode. So for those of you who listen to the podcast in the car ride with the kids or wherever you are, just have that quick disclaimer. There was a lot of F-bombs and profanities used. And so if you're cool with that, moving forward, uh, buckle up. It was an interesting ride. Truth Seeker and or its affiliates are not responsible for any strange phenomena that may occur during or after listening to this podcast, which may include the following. Heightened senses of awareness, psychic abilities, UFO sightings, alien contact, time loss, out-of-body experiences, ringing in the ears, ESP, lucid dreaming, increased synchronicities, astral projection, telepathy, stronger intuition, levitation, miraculous healings, and or remote viewing. Please be advised to listen at your own discretion. up ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i'm your host truth seeker this is the truth seeker podcast excited delighted to be with you guys uh for this show on a wednesday night we're starting to do wednesday nights again we got an awesome show planned for you all we're going to talk about all things spiritual i'd love to tie it back into spirituality activism uh spiritual hip-hop uh we're going to get into a lot and so this is going to be an organic conversation that you're going to get to hear tonight uh again uh, as always, I, I start talking to the guests off air, and I'm just like, hey, zip it, zip, nope, let's don't go any further, because I want this to be on air, I want it to be organic, so got a, a bunch of stuff we want to cover tonight for you guys, but uh, first I want to say a huge thank you to everybody who has supported my work via Patreon, uh, this show is not possible without your uh, help and support, so thank you guys for co-creating and making this show possible. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. Um, if you would like to support, head on over to patreon.com backslash truthseeker. Uh, there you get access to my entire discography of music, which is over 200 songs. You get access to the back catalog of podcasts, interviews, our Thursday night school of the mystics, which is like the community aspect to what we're building here. All of that cool stuff. Check it out. Patreon.com backslash truthseeker. Also, for those of you who don't know, my book is now available. Just turned two months old. Spirit Realm, Angels, Demons, Spirits, and the Sovereignty of God. Forward by none other than Jordan Maxwell. Definitely blessed to have him give me about five or six pages in, in the beginning of this book. So if you haven't checked it out, go to Amazon. Type in Truth Seeker. It'll come up. Make sure you leave a review. All the good stuff. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump into today's tonight's episode. Mr. Steve Grant, brother, what's going on, man? Welcome to the podcast. Finally, five years in the making. Finally. Five <laughs> years, brother. Maybe even longer. Holy <laughs> fuck, man. Yo. Right. Beautiful, glorious to be here, my man. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's an honor and a huge, uh, huge respect for just, you know, connecting with someone like yourself. Uh, you pumping out the shit that you're pumping out, bro. I mean, like, I, you know, I, I couldn't be more, you know, uh, humble to be here with you. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I salute you for the shit that you've been pumping in. Like, 
I mean, bro, you got Jordan Maxwell right in your fucking. I mean, come on, bro. Tell me, dog. Done. All right. Salute. Heavyweight. For sure. Respect. For sure, Hell man. Yeah. Dude, he's been a huge uh, influence on my life. And we'll get into that in a little bit, man. I just want to uh, kind of okay. introduce you a little bit. Um, for, for people who don't know who you are, and I'm sure there's a lot of people listening to this first time hearing you, just give a quick background who you are, what you bring to the table, and then we'll just jump right into it. Word. Uh, yeah, man. Um, I've been pretty much in the. I guess whatever you want to call it now, truth or conscious hip hop revolutionary unit uh, of, of hip hop music since I'd say around 2011 ish or so. Um, been doing music since then. So I don't know, whatever that is, nine years, almost 10 years now, or maybe a little bit less. Um, but I have been traveling different parts of the earth, connecting with other leaders and large activist groups um, and bringing the more depth of the heartfelt and more conscious perspective into activism and not just the surface level stuff. And I've been able to, you know, uplift people and activate them through over the years, very, very different types of people. My influence has been very, very uh, impactful on them. And, and I say that humbly, you know what I'm saying? Um, and I'm also uh, uh, like a, a holistic life coach and that's going to be shifting more uh, I'm aiming to be into like high performance coaching as well. So that's like an ongoing thing for me. So um, it's been like that along with collabs with all types of other revolutionary conscious hip hop artists as well. Um, technically five years ago, we should have already done, did one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's all right. We'll fix that. We'll get to that. Uh, but in a nutshell, man, yo, I'm Steve Grant. If you don't know me by now, it's all good, but just go write my name and fuck around and you will see my whole world. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, huge, huge honor to e even have you here, bro. Um, just, just to know, like that, you know, what I'm saying what you've been doing, putting in the work, and uh, not just doing music, but again, the word um, activism. But like, you've been out there, like in the streets, putting feet, boots on the ground, out there, leading groups of people. Um, you know, and it, I, I know it's, I know it's, uh, it's gone through changes and it's morphed about what it is and what it means. And I want to talk to you a yeah. little bit about that. There's like this. Yeah. Um, um, evolution, it seems like for me, I, I got into really like what you would call like the political stuff, getting into the Illuminati, New World Order, anti-government, learning about 9-11 conspiracy theories and stuff. And so I got really deep into that, put out an EP where I was just focusing on that. And uh, um, but it, it started to it started to shift f from the protests and stuff like that. And it became more of a, a conscious thing of more of a. Um, um, uh, doing the work on yourself, like the spiritual alchemy, if you will, like, tra uh, like transformation. And I've noticed for me, it wasn't a long journey. I got into this, the deep spiritual stuff really quick, but I've noticed a lot of the, um, um, if you would call them revolutionary type hip hop artists, they, they start making that change as well. It's, it's like, you know, it's, you know what I'm saying? Standing outside of courtroom buildings and, and, you know what I'm saying? Waving their fist. And it's almost like, not a lot happens, and then they kind of evolve into this uh, spiritual lifestyle of, yes. start, you know what I'm saying, starting to take care of their body, eating better, taking care of the planet. Diesel Automatic's done it. PTP's done it. Immortal Techniques done it. I've done it. I, I feel like you've done it. Have you seen that yeah. evolution in this revolutionary yes. saga? Um, yeah, in the hip-hop arena, um, I have. And it's actually, and if and if they're not, going through that transformation, then someone that already has gone through the transformation will appear in the hip hop arena, brand new, already transformed. There's yeah. some other artists like that, you know, um, it's still a small circle. It's still a small circle and it's all good, but there definitely is. Um, like you said, man, like it goes from the streets to, to the being inside you. Like, yeah. and that's like, I'll coin the term. I don't even know if it's a real word. I'll just make it up right now, but self-activism bro yeah like yeah. that that's you know every that that's the final piece that's actually missing with a lot of the people for sure and that is that is a huge void that needs every individual's attention because you're not going to get the results that you want hitting the streets or you will you will get good results but hitting the streets grouping up with people in your community and trying to create this 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 bubble or this group of people that are gonna like do damage or hit something or create you know what i'm saying that's only very that's very it's one of the very beginning levels that's it because 
when you're able to bring a different type of value, like you can go to any, you can go to a thousand marches, yeah. um, impact the people, make connections, have a pretty good time there, have your voice heard. But at the very end of the day, you go home as the same person and all of your shit, all the shit that you're not putting your attention on, that you're not working on, which is screaming for your attention. And the only form of communication that it has to tell you to put your attention on it is through bad behaviors and compulsions and shitty desires. You know what I'm saying? It, it's corroded in, in, in the wrong way when all it's asking, you know, like, I don't even know how to like in like it's it's your point of attention is almost like a beam of light. So, you know, this is like the shadow work. It's, it's your traumas, it's for sure. the dark, your dark shit. So like that absence, the absence of that type of self act, uh, uh, activation, self work, personal development, shadow work, spirituality, whatever we need to call it doesn't matter. You're working on yourself and you're healing yourself. You're not just being like, Oh, I'm going to the gym. I'm lifting weights. That that's very, very small piece of it. That's very important, but a very small piece when you actually stop. And, and that individual who is someone who, is an activist, someone who gives a fuck about what's going on in this world and wants to do more. And they're feeling like they're at this plateau. Guess what? Get off the streets, maybe even get off the internet or I mean, social media, at least unless you're going to use the internet and you need to start working on yourself. I think you even, I think like start starting from basics. Like if, if an individual, like if an individual, like, for example, I think, I think an easy one is, traffic like road rage traffic (laughs) and like well because it's a great it's a great uh training ground it's an amazing uh arena for For practice yeah yeah. you know what i'm saying and uh like name calling uh, name calling and insults is another like ground 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 zero what about facebook debates bro is that is that one too that, like, it, that like is always one. having to have the last word, always having to be right, you know, getting into arguments with random strangers across the globe on the internet is for me yeah, that exactly. was that's a huge because, one, right? Yeah, yeah, because you got to catch myself. Like, should I comment? Like, I'm, if I comment, I'm going to lose a friend over this Trump issue. You know what I'm saying? So I have to like, <laughs> I have to like, right. don't do it, don't do it, and I have to use that self control right, right. not to comment. Well, it's it's a matter of do what's right or do what feels better to you and what feels better to you isn't always right. That's the thing. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like if you, if you, you know, um, and we'll, we'll probably digress, but that's fine. Like, you know, like, so like I, over the past few years, I've been hit up with the Trump, the, the, the Trump question, you know, and I got all types of people hit me. Oh yeah. There's, there's Both flat earthers. There's, 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 there's Q anons. There's, there's woke Christians. There's, there's, there's so many different types of variety of people now and, and yeah. different levels of where they're at. And they say, you know, Steve, what do you think about Trump? What do you think about Trump? And my answer is, I don't. I don't think about Trump. Yeah. Whether he's the superhero that's going to change the world and save America, or he's another Zionist puppet controlled by fucking Kabbalistic Saturn worshiping Talmudists, whatever. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant because if you're actually putting like, okay, one or the other, if he is, if he is the bad guy, okay. That means he's in the rotating door. It's going to be another bad guy, another bad guy, another puppet. And your life actually doesn't change. How you feel about the political arena doesn't change. Now, if he is the superhero that everyone thinks and says and claims, or not everyone, but, you know, there's a massive group. Yeah, 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 yeah. The the, the problem with that, and this trickles into celebrities as well, you're actually, as an individual, you are willingly putting your power and responsibility – into him or into someone else and you unknowingly even though you're patriotic as fuck and you swear to god that he's the next thing that's all good but you're giving your power and your capacity for responsibility to make change in this world and you're throwing it up and giving it into that figure so therefore you can just put your hands back i did my job now all i got to do is just defend what i believe in and it's a fucking loop that you don't want to be in so like you know what I'm saying? Like that right there, you'd have to actually like sit, you'd have, you, it's only going to change when that person has a willingness to be like, all right, yo, I'm fucking, it's going to be one or the other. I think it's either going to be down low. Like I'm so sick of this. I'm so fed up. I'm so broken, you know, 
you know, whether you're like this country's fucked up or my family's messed up or my girlfriend, boyfriend is, 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 is negative towards me and I've had enough and I'm breaking down, I'm going through depression, whatever the fuck. And then you snap and you have a moment where you're like, yo, all right, that's it. I'm so upset that I'm actually going to do something very different. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to try and aim to change this. Boom. That right there is your first catalyst or it's the other way around. Or you're like, wow, I'm so, you know, inspired and charged up and, you know, activated and, you know, ready to make brand new goals and desires and dreams for myself and make a difference. Yo, I'm ready to change and make shit. Boom. Catalyst. Up or down doesn't matter. It's still the act, that willingness. It's that willingness. Most people, most people in the mainstream arena don't even give two fucks about what I just said. And I know that. And that's fine. That's fine. But it just shows how deep we need to be putting our awareness on things and get the fuck off of the goddamn show. It's a show, bro. <laughs> Do you, so it, you think that like, you know, and, and, and in this, I don't want to like belittle your work, man, but, but like, do you think that that goes against like some of the like activism as far as the marches is concerned of like, you know, trying to, you know, rally and, and get, cause it sounds like you've done even deeper marches within like you're like you went on, like, you know what I'm saying? The uh, exoteric on the outside with everyone. Right. Now it's like this internal spiritual growth, spiritual process of like marching within you know, and you're kind of calling people yeah. to that self-discovery type deal. Um, has there been any good come out of the, these marches? But I, and, and I will say this because I love what you said about the people coming together, exchanging numbers. Hey, this is my Facebook. This is my Twitter. Let's link up. Let's do a podcast. And so that aspect is, I think, is beautiful. But as far as yeah. like, you know, getting bills changed and denied or just making our voice heard, do you, do you find that to be kind of like a dead end or, or is there progress being made there? So here's what's interesting. This is this is a deep response to that. So basically, like, technically, technically, if we were to erase linear time and everything's already happening, happening all at once, we have already won. We have already got it. We've, we, we've achieved it because there are more people awake on Earth right now than there ever was in history, at least yeah. as far as my understanding, as far um, as my understanding. Yeah. You're right. So. You know, the, the catalyst for the new consciousness or technically old original consciousness has already taken effect. So it's almost like you have people need to be way more patient in knowing this because, yes, it's going to perceivably get worse. Perceivably. You know what I'm saying? If you're the, if your news feed is filled with I mean, I guess most people's news feeds are, but filled with just constant toxic negative horrible shit then that's going to be your worldview and you're going to be like yo the world's fucked up everything's going to shit i don't even feel like doing anything there's people that there's people that will look at the news feed so much and see how all all the all the bad stuff all the dark stuff all the negative things all the horrors and atrocities and drama and stress and bullshit that's happening to the point where they they will swear that yo i'm not I'm, they'll say that they're not going to have a child yeah. Because of that reason, For because sure. of that reason. But then how then where's about what about the beautiful earth? What about Mother Gaia and her spirit? What about the love we get to we get to express in this in this in this realm that we exist in with other people like that? There's way more beauty than there is darkness. Well, there's, there's a polarity, you know what I'm saying? But when people understand that the big job, it's not about changing bills in small local areas. Yeah, it's a little bit different in yeah. small local areas. Yes. Do your due diligence, especially if you're a mother or a father and you got kids. The game's very different for you. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, if you have if you're going if you're living in a city where it's mandatory vaccination or some shit like that. And no matter what the fuck, no matter how much you try and fight and whatever the fuck it is, it's going to be mandatory and it's a done deal. And your kid's going to have to and then you have to homeschool them. And then you realize that homeschooling them is not going to work for you as a parent. What's the next move? You fucking move. You leave that fucking state. You leave that fucking city. A lot of people aren't about that. They're not about that type of massive action because they don't realize it. They're, 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 they rather try. And they're not wrong for this. They just haven't had an opportunity to be able to push themselves into a different category that they get to realize, oh, shit, I have more capabilities than I thought. I have more options than I thought. 
because, you know, fighting for justice for someone that was murdered uh, in a horrific act by the fucking satanic police mafia, like, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to, I would never tell anybody to not do that. But I mean, at the end of the day, it's almost like that does, it still does not bring your friend, your son, your daughter back, that, that justice that you get, your, your pain is still with you. Yeah. So working, working on the justice, I would say might be secondary or third primary would be working on that pain. You may, you may real you, you may heal from that pain, that trauma, that suffering and be like, wow, you know what? I've already, you know, it's a great example. Motherfucking Spider-Man three. Okay. When Peter Parker at the end, uh, and it wasn't even really the good Spider-Man, but anyway, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but no, but there, there was a huge, a huge gem that was dropped there. Um, at the end, the Sandman that killed his uncle that gave Spider-Man all this vengeance and rage and the dark symbiote took over him and all that shit. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a metaphor for us humans. Yeah. Like he forgave him. He forgave him at the very end, but he, he had to, I don't know. They didn't go into this though, but he had to forgive himself first that huge and it's so in the beginning it's very hard this type of spiritual work is very difficult yeah. in the beginning how long have you but been it's, doing it's this real. man is this something the last couple of years has this been since the beginning of the music is this kind of a new revelation like how deep have you been uh, conscious it, it, of it, the it, inner work versus the outer work it's it's always been there um it's always been there um but i would say my ratio I, I would, I would lean, I always lean more towards, more towards the inner. I always, but I are, I, what's, what's interesting is that perceivably I'm, I'm more towards the outer. It seems. Yeah. But that, that's why when I go into these groups of activists, I, I'm there personally, I'm in their face. I can commune with them, give them props, you know, hug them, join them, go, go. We then hang out further. So they get to actually experience what I've learned, because, you know, you could teach it, you could talk it and teach it in one way. But when you hang out with someone, you yeah. know, you, you start to pick up their good qualities. So definitely the past, the past, that's a good question, dude. That's a, I would say strong this year, very strong. Um, I've been going in heavy because I had I had to get out of a, a loop of depression that I actually got caught myself in. Yeah, uh, I have an older father. My dad's my dad just turned fucking 91, bro. Wow. OK, like absurd all right so um he needs a lot of attention and shit like that um but you know my mind my mind had me going all loopy you know all oh, yeah. that goes you fall into the depression and that's it uh and then i even had a i had a, I had a, like a life or death moment with myself almost like some suicidal shit and i had to be like yo like nah like i i chose life and I, but i didn't just choose life i chose it fully all the way all all of it you know what i'm saying yeah yeah um, but throughout the years, I've always been able to add that element of spiritual, personal development, self-awareness, self-monitor yourself. Because when I'm with yeah. other activists and other people, I get to talk to them. And, and I've been affiliated with whether it's Anonymous, Million Mask March, uh, GMO Free Florida, Anonymous for the Voiceless. Uh, uh, I, I was one of the people that helped started Stop 5G Florida. You know what I'm saying? Blew that shit up. So what about We Are Change? You work with those guys? Shout out to Justin Harvey. Holy shit. Shout out to Justin Harvey. That dude right there. That's my homie right there. He's uh We Are Change Orlando. Um and We Are Change originally is Luke. Yeah. Uh I've uh yeah, I've I've had I've had uh short short uh run ins with Luke here and there at different events, different things. We were at like a David Icke uh con- um a thing. So uh, I've had some interactions with him. Uh, I respect his work. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, yeah, he was in it early on. So Luke definitely influenced a lot of us into the uh, revolutionary hip hop and things like that and putting, a, putting out a lot of content early on in the early days of MySpace and, and YouTube, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, let, me, let me ask if you've heard this quote, bro. It's a, uh, a poem called, I Wanted to Change the World. Have you read that or heard it? It's really but then good. I found out that I had to change myself or yes. is that what it is? Yes. Yes. So yes. it goes, I'm just going to read it right quick. It says, when I, was a young, when I was a young man, I wanted to change the world. I found it was difficult to change the world. So I tried to change my nation. 
When I found out I couldn't change the nation, I began to focus on my town. I couldn't change the town. As an older man, I tried to change my family. Now, as an old man, I realized the only thing I can change is myself. And suddenly, I realized that if long ago I had changed myself, I could have made an impact on my family. My family and I could have made an impact on our town. Their impact could have changed the nation. And I, indeed, could have changed the world. Boom. Fucking beautiful, bro. And real as fuck. Yeah, that's Real deep, as bro. fuck. Dude, it For is. Sure. Because bro, that's where, that's how I know that, you know, like, it don't matter how, like, when you get down to the bottom of the rabbit hole, you know, one of the biggest things you find out is that there is no bottom. You know what I'm saying? That's like <laughs> you've been thing. talking about that for sure, bro. For sure. Yeah, you know. So, so once you, once you, you know, like once you're like, all right, there's some whole extra shit. Like, it gets to the point where you're like, all right, I got enough. I have enough to understand my reality, and I have enough to not be deceived by the manipulators and the controllers and the masterminds and the fuckery, yeah. which is vital. So, uh, but then from that, you realize that like, you don't need to try to find the end. And I think a lot of researchers and truthers and activists, they're stuck on that. They're stuck on that, which does have good value in there. So yeah. they feel like they are learning, but probably most of them, maybe half of them have already graduated and they don't even know it. And they're, they're now next. It's now time for self-activation, self-work, self-healing start looking up the masters, the leaders of today, bro. I learned mad shit from, from a lot of the mainstream people. Yeah. No, Dude. like there's so Terrence, what's the name? Terrence, uh, Terrence McKenna? Howard, Terrence oh, Howard. Terrence How- oh, right. oh yeah. Dude, check out what he's yeah. doing. We talked about yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, no, awesome, familiar. Yeah, awesome yeah, yeah. crazy, um, using uh sacred geometry to power free, in- free energy, like un- right. uncoding sacred geometry in the vortex to to power free energy off right. of this world grid he's got the money to fund it and uh he's talking about it on red carpet interviews and it's crazy dude so yeah. there's a lot of people who are woke in the mainstream for real even if they just right. drop nuggets bro even if yeah, it's I mean, just there's, nuggets there's, there's, here and there you there's know? levels i mean i don't i mean there's um uh like okay like yeah like i'm trying to think um like oh like so, some of the newer people of today because that uh from terrence he, bro, he got all of his knowledge and his understanding from the ancients. Yeah. Pythagoras. You went, yeah. Yeah. So you, you know what I'm saying? So like, so, and then maybe even before him even probably. But, the, um, but my, uh, my point is that, you know, if you're learning from, uh, you know, Gary V. So for example, if he's more, he's more modern, you know, um, you know, Gary V. Uh, he's got some good stuff, bro, for sure. So, right, right, right. But what I'm saying is like, so to a truther person or an activist person <laughs> or, a, you know, whatever, they, 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 they may not really fuck with him because um, he, he's in the mainstream arena and he's with other celebrities and he supports, I don't know, Starbucks and other fucking mainstream shit, whatever that, that us people, we don't really feel, you know what I'm saying? But here's the thing. Gary V ain't someone that needs to be, woken up by like some individual activists exactly you know what i'm saying like you're you can go to i can go across to any i can go it doesn't matter if i'm if it's santos uh uh or yeah yeah, or if it's it does the mark passio eric maxwell david ike (laughs) jordan maxwell you know and and i'm sure a hand i'm sure some of them may not even want it to be categorized together in the same group like that for sure but i i could look i could learn from every single one of them value each one of them you know what I'm saying? My filter is already there. I'm I'm chill. I'm good on the filter. I'm not. If someone's talking to me about um, about a certain issue, and they use a term or a phrase that I don't use, or you know what I'm saying, like I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna disregard the value that they already that they're already that they're already bringing to me. You know what I'm saying? So like like for, like for example, if um another one, uh, the dude from uh the the secret that 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 the secret Bob Proctor. The movie, Bob Proctor, bro, now. bro, I've been hard on Bob Proctor, bro. Okay, now, but but For here's real. the thing. So, but that's also that's also a the new age movement is blended in that. So you know, but again, I'll grab gem. I could grab gems from Bob Proctor and not worry about him telling me that we landed on the moon because he does that, and that's great. So you believe we land on the moon? That's great. Me personally, I don't. So I'm that's already filtered out, and I don't discredit Bob at all. Yeah. I'm still grabbing. 
because he I didn't go to him to learn about the moon land. Yeah, exactly. I, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I don't expect he ain't gonna teach you know me what? that. You know yeah. what? I'm saying? Yeah, I'm the same way because you know I, I deal with a lot of religious people, right? And then so I'll like post some Manly P Hall or some Jordan Maxwell or whatever, and they're like, mm. "Listen, I'm not finna talk to." to you know what I'm saying, George Maxwell, about my my relationship with Jesus. Like I don't go to him for answers about my relationship with God, with Christ. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't go right. to. If you want to learn about finances? Don't go to these poor righteous teachers. They're not finna right. help you. They they have Boom. taken a vow of poverty to cast right. off riches. Right. You know what I'm saying? You need to talk to people because yeah. it takes finances. You need to talk to a Gary Vee. You need to talk to a Bob Proctor. Chew the meat, spit out the bones, and, and understand that everybody has a piece of the puzzle. That's what this podcast yeah. is, bro. Like everybody brings their piece. It ain't about like like. And the weird thing is, people think that just because I, I did an interview with these people, that I agree with everything that these people. They'll do background checks on them and and all kind of weird stuff. Like, right. Look, I agree with what, what, what we talked about and, and, and the dialogue that we had. It's like. It's crazy, like sharing a, a quote from Buddha or Joel Osteen. Anyway, like Joel Osteen got some some dope right. quotes, but it's like, oh, you you agree with Joel Osteen? Like, man, if you don't get out of my face with that stuff, man, <laughs> right. I agree with the right, post right, right. or the uh, the quote that I shared. You know what I'm saying? A broken clock is right twice a day, so it's like everybody hey, has something to bring to the table you if know, you're looking. There, you know, hundred percent, hundred percent. Because if you you know, the whole thing is like the mainstream. And bring it into the subculture, underground revolution, whatever you want to call it. You know what I'm saying? Because there's, you know, technically, technically, there really is no, there really is no mainstream. Technically, it's just a, we're, it's like, and, and technically, there is no fuck the system. There is. I'll definitely say that. We are the system. You know what I'm saying? Like, we are the conduits. We literally, we're electrical beings. You know what I'm saying? And this is, I'm going to tie this into what you were talking about with, with uh, finances, because this is very important because our electrical physical space, we then, you know, physically pay a phone bill and physically use a phone and physically drive a car and physically pump gas in it and physically go to work, which makes this business run, which why this did it. We literally run the city. Through, yeah. We are electrical. You know what I'm saying? Now, even further, ex- the extension is money over the years one of the things is that money i had to fucking i had to i had to empty everything out of my fucking head that i knew about money (laughs) and start and start from ground zero because this is one of the biggest things and i know some and people are listening to this when we i'm telling you right now the subconscious is our fucking tool and our weapon and our power source yeah and when we say things or think or i'll go when we believe things that we're like money's the root of all evil you're a slave to the dollar i'm a debt slave you're a slave to debt we're under the illuminati control the freemasons own all the money the bankers control the money they control your life this mentality destroys your self-worth this mentality removes you from accessing real abundance and real true wealth, which what has What would the opposite to do with- of those of those couple quotes be? What you just said. What would the opposite be? Of um, of oh oh of like of money is the root of all evil. This and that yeah yeah work. yeah. Like, money like- is not the root of all evil. It's the people that are using the money that it's corrupt people using money. Money money. A great example to me is money is literally like electricity in your house. It can light up your home. It can give you your TV, your internet. It could fucking, you could have one of those cleaning things on the floor, you know, whatever. <laughs> oh, I go, hey, maybe that's not electricity. That's, or unless you're charging it. But anyway, point is, is that, or that electricity can fucking be used wrong and burn your fucking house down. And that's how the sa- money is the same exact thing. The fucking, the philosophy on money has been corrupted and polluted. We need to understand that, wow, I, I am abundant. You know what I'm saying? Like if you, when, you, when you walk into a place, we can't always be at, on, on, on the what's in it for me mentality. Yeah, hand out. Because that, what yeah, yeah, because that, that's going to, right. Because then we're, you, you know, if you're, if you're someone that's spiritual and you're doing shit and you're working on affirmations, you don't want to say, please, please, I need, I need this money. I need this money. Why? Because, you know, and this, this part doesn't matter, whether it's the Godhead, Christ consciousness, source, 
what it, this part doesn't matter because what the access that we have is what matters. Like I, I can't tell you how a TV works or how a phone works, but I use a phone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't need to know how it works to use it. And it's that kind of a, a of analogy with it. And, you know, when you're sending these thoughts of like, yo, if I'm just self, if I'm, uh, um, if, if I need, I need this money, I need a million dollars, please, please, please. You are sending out that you are hopeless. You are needy. You are powerless. That's the message that's being communicated to the infinite intelligence or the higher power, whatever yeah. it is. And that's going to be sent right back to you. More situations of you being needy, of you being powerless and of you being, and of you being uh, 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 in, in a desperate situation. So knowing your, knowing your worth, knowing your value and, and using the subconscious, like I'll give you a great example. Here's a funny one. So when I started flipping the script on my whole shit with uh, understanding money and worth uh, yeah. or, or wealth, 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 wealth is actually an economic situation, which I didn't, I didn't really catch on. You know what I'm saying? Because again, bro, we're learning everything about the occult masters and Freemasons and all this shit. And, they're using the shit I'm talking about. Yeah. Like the, the book, Think and, Think and Grow Rich, yeah. uh, written by Napoleon Hill. Mm -hmm. It talks about Andrew Carnegie. Andrew Carnegie, the first, I believe, billionaire uh, in history. I, I, I mean, unless we're in some Rothschild shit, but known billionaire. But here's what's interesting. In the book, I'm reading it, and it's like this, this, this formula – of understanding your 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 uh, uh, your desires, connecting with your infinite intelligence, and bringing bringing your desires into manifestation, you know it's a deep it's way deeper than that. I just kind of butchered it, but that philosophy, his philosophy, it said he, here here's a list of other of other names of people in, in industry that he has showed this formula to, and it was all Freemasons, Rockefeller, all it was just all Freemasons, all of them. So the the the, the like Freemasons, Satanists, whether you're good Satanist or dark Luciferian, whatever, they're all using the same shit. So like, you know, the, the, the biggest control, the biggest thing that they have on us is not the poison food. It's not the chemicals in the air. It's not the vaccines. It's not that that's all brutal. It's that they have tricked us into not expanding ourselves and feeling that we are our own enemy that we can't do things yeah. when, as soon as as soon as we say and, and then remind me because i'm gonna bring you back to a point like, i know yeah. i just went all over the place sorry but, uh, yeah yeah you're good the, the thing is is that like uh when someone knows that they're like okay if i go if i go into a gas station because we're now stuck we're now at the point where actual moments of gratitude and appreciation and thankfulness which is a, which is a vibration by the way Yep. which brings you more abundance. Like it is now for most people, especially in America, it has now been crunched down into a five second moment. And what I mean by that is if I'm walking into a gas station or if someone, if whoever's walking into a gas station and someone's walking out and they hold the door open for you and you walk through, there is a moment of reciprocated appreciation that person actually wants to do something good for you, for, for a stranger. And you say, hey, man, thanks. Appreciate it. You know, thank. And you thank them. Do we stop and say, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before I walk through this door, uh, do you support Trump? Uh, are you part of the Illuminati? Uh, are you a Republican? Are you a Democrat? Uh, are you this? Are you that? Because if you are, then I'm not going to walk through this door. No, none of that shit matters in a moment of natural humanity. Now, I know I, I digressed on that, but I just wanted to make that point. But I, yeah. I, to, to bring it back, to bring it back, what I was saying before about with the subconscious and shit, is that the uh, the thing with the money thing, I had to realize some shit. I had to check myself on some funny shit with pennies, with pennies. And if anyone's listening, and if you do this, let this me me saying this right now change the game for you, and you start switching it up the same way I did, and I started getting results immediately. I would not when I would get change, I wouldn't I wouldn't take the pennies. Or if I would get the change, I would, my fingers would hold down just on the silver and then I would flick my hand up and let the pennies fly out of the air. All right. Okay. Yeah. Silly, silly. But, but, but here's the thing. What kind of message was I saying to my subconscious that 
I'm not worth having money, not even pennies. So my value of, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. That was the message. Even though consciously, yo, I want money, I want money, so I can do this and I can do that. Subconsciously, he, he, the subconscious doesn't know that or believe that. It swears that it's unworthy because I say, I want money. Oh, thanks for the change. Yeah, I don't want these pennies. What kind of message is that? So guess what, bro? Guess what I started doing? And if anyone's, if you're that person that says, fuck pennies, I now snatch up every penny everywhere, all the time, all over the place, bro. <laughs> all the time. It just comes to you. Them. It's coming bro, in abundance. Bro, it's coming because, bro, because what I'm doing is I'm actually sending, I'm actually sending, I'm, it's like auto suggestion to your, to your subconscious. Yeah. You're actually, for you're, pennies. I'm re- <laughs> you could do it with for dollars pen- and, pennies, and hundreds yeah. and thousands and everything as well, right, but it right. starts with what? It starts, it starts with the fucking with pennies, penny. bro, you know? Yeah. And another, another relate- uh, myth. It's the whole your, yeah. your, your your whole relationship with money changes, and it starts with the penny, it the does, value. You know? And, and uh, another myth that was busted for me was, uh, you know, a penny, uh, you know, a penny saved is a penny earned, but it's not. It's a penny saved is a penny. That's it because it's not it's not moving with anything. It's not. You see, what I'm saying yeah. if you if you save this if you save just to save, you're just saving out of fear when you save because like yo no i'm saving up you know twenty thousand forty thousand ten thousand a hundred thousand because i'm gonna do this move and this move is what it takes boom now you actually have a a mini goal now you're driven differently because you actually have you have the vision you know exactly what you want to do instead of just like oh i'm saving why why are you saving because i'm just saving because you know you never know well that it's it's into the abyss of nothingness you know i'm saying it's nothing nothing is certain or solid there yeah with uh, with understanding all that stuff, man, and all those names you've been dropping, it's like what really gets me into is the whole universal law and understanding how the laws of the universe and the in 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 like and 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 you know thinking about a creator like this divine order like there's laws to this game and what I like to say is that we're we're all playing the game of life. Most of us don't even know the rules, and I think that universal law, uh, you know. Is, uh, is 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 the rules, and once we learn them, then we can play the law and be su- uh, play the game and be successful at it. We can win, versus we're playing the game. We have no idea. We just sit down. And everybody else is winning around us, and we're just right. like just showing up and studying right. universal law. And when it comes to you know the law of reciprocation, the law of cause and effect. I mean the law of gender, oh. the law of polarity, the law of yo, causation. I mean, there's so much, man reciprocation yo you hit it on the yo check this out like here's another big one that i think would 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 be a value for people is like if you're that person that is always bending over backwards to help somebody or if you're someone that's you know you're stopping and dropping what you're doing to go do something for someone else and or if you're the first one out to go help or if you're the first one to go do you know i'm saying but as soon as someone comes to give you something you're like, no, 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 it's all right. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. No, thanks. No, thanks. Ah, no need. No need. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I had no problem. What you don't realize what you're doing is when you go and do all those good things and you, you're showing, you're, you're providing service, you're actually creating abundance. But for that abundance and that wealth to come into you, when you say, no, nah, no, thanks, you're not allowing yourself to receive service from others because of an issue which needs to be which needs attention which needs healing which needs to be addressed but what happens is you block your abundance flow from the from from the higher realm you don't you're gonna block it even though you're doing all this shit and then you're gonna be frustrated and you're gonna resent people that you help i don't think i don't think that you i think that you block it for then but i do think that it stores up I do think that yes. you, you store up even as the Bible says treasures in heaven, but that they overflow you like like for the person who needs a friend, like if you've been a friend to someone, when you go through that storm and that trial, a friend will be appointed for you because you've been right. a friend to someone who didn't have a friend like all, like all the supporters that we have. I believe 100 percent without the shadow of a doubt. There's people who go above and beyond with giving financially, with making sure they retweet and share all of our stuff. And they just they're just there, man. They just they, they get it and they they support without cause. Right. They, they're they just there. I, I think that when they start their thing, 
when they start their music, when they start their career, when they start their ministry, their Facebook page, whatever it is that they start, that help is on the way. That when they start it, that there's not going to be a shortage of supporters and people who are going to return the favor. For right. one, for one, I am. For the people who support me in, in my corner and they don't have like that's and I don't have much to give when they get started. No, nah, you with me. If I eat, right. we all eat. Like we take right. care of each other. I think the universe is like that too. Like you can only you can only pull down. You can only take uh, away what you put in. And we and, and so a lot of us have been putting in for years. It might not have been money. Right. It might not have been finances. It might have been time. It's, might, energy. Might been, it's energy. It's energy. All of it's Absolutely. energy, and yeah. it comes in yeah. different different ways and different forms. But when you need it, it's there. It's, it's definitely it is. there. It is. So don't. Well, well, I would say I would say the only if would be again if you're someone that 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 pushes it away, then that's, yeah, then well, it I almost think, pulls you. Well, yeah. I'm saying just even this, this conversation is just letting people oh, know, right, right, right. don't push it away. Like it's oh, there yeah, for you. Correct. Tap into yes, it, try yes. it and see, taste and see that the Lord is good. Like it's there, bro. It's there for you. There's nothing holding it back. It's going to be, the Bible says it'll be pressed down, shaken and running over and given back to you in abundance without measure. Like it's yes. there. You just don't know it. So it right. says, in also Patience. Says, it says my people perish for a lack of knowledge. Like it's there, you, it, but you, you suffer because you don't know that it's there. It's available to you. Endless abundance and resources like from outer space, bro, like from the creator, from it's there. Like whenever right. you need it, man, as long as you're doing good, as long as you, there's positive energy and you're, you're continually p- putting in when you need it, it's coming back for sure. Definitely, definitely. And you know what? And that's, but you got to know it. You have to know the laws. You have to know it. You have to ask. You, yeah. Don't be afraid and to ask. And here's what's crazy. You know? And you know what? And me, me and Diesel were actually talking about this, uh, uh, about the law and like the laws and, and things like that. And then how, oh yeah, shout out to Diesel Automatic. Diesel uh, Automatic. Diesel Get Automatic. <laughs> that man. Oh, yeah. uh, shout out to that man. He's got a new and you album, know what? While we're giving shout outs, I want to say shout out to Stephen the Voice Cook as well because he I think he tagged me on your on, on this post. The voice who he even actually made original. this possible. So he is the one. Yo, <laughs> huge shout out to yo. That's real as fuck. Sure, hell yeah. Together, yeah, both uh, of them guys. Yeah, uh, Diesel. Yeah, Diesel got new album Revolution. It's on Spotify. Go on his channel. Check him out. Fuck with that. I got songs with him. That's uh, heavyweight, powerful shit. Um, yeah, we were talking about how. You have to, yeah, you got to know those laws. And we're, unfortunately, we're living in times where it's not like those laws are like we automatically are living by them because clearly the ones in power said, fuck your laws, F- yeah. fuck your universal God, natural laws, whatever. Yeah. We're going to do whatever the fuck we do anyway. You know what I'm saying? But yes, yes, knowing, knowing those laws and principles, because like this is where the occult gets a bad rep. For sure. Because there, there, there is so much spiritual awakening that can be accessed use, using using the occult knowledge and philosophy, like the official shit, like hermetic hermeticism and shit like that. And yeah, like, yeah. You know, you know, not not the corrupted shit. But again, if some if someone's like, well, wait a minute, well, where the fuck do I even go to do this and this and that and whatever? Guess what? You start looking and seeking for someone who's kind of already got it. And go be with that person. Go hang out with them. Go flood yourself with their content. Consume their shit. Get their book. Read their fucking book. Study it. Write in it. Highlight it. Fucking be, be a student. That's what we're missing. We're missing yeah. students. We're missing students, bro. Yeah, for sure. And, and those people are out there. Again, I'm not going to go to Jordan Maxwell for lessons on spirituality and how to, how to meditate and how to access the higher self. But there's other things that I'm going to go to Jordan. Bro, Max the whole point well we're supposed for. to go to we're supposed to go to everyone. Exactly. That's the beauty. Yeah. That's the beauty. We're supposed to have differences, bro. Here Having a little, the, there a little. Yeah, and being able like the power of di- uh, of agreeing to disagree is amazing when it's really like that. That shit's watered down. Bro, People throw that. No, around. no, no, no. That's I'm big into that right now. Like that's okay. what that's where the power is is the fact Massive, that we disagree. Bro. Yeah, true seeker talking all and this Bible lingo. True seeker on this all this Bible Jesus stuff, but nah, we still deep. We still get it in. Like it don't matter what you like. Pushing the differences aside to say, okay, this is what we do agree in, and it's powerful. Like when we come yes. together, man. You know what I'm saying? Because right. it's how big for me up, right now. How you show up and how you treat others. That's that's how I view someone. So like here, sure, here's bro. something crazy. Like like in my own personal mind, right? This is funny. Like 
but it's real. It's real as fuck. Like, I already automatically view every individual, even ones that I probably bump heads with or probably get into like whatever problems with, which really is rare. But anyway, every single individual, I always look at them and know that they are a higher potential, an infinite spirit and an all knowing, all wise being. They are not to me. They're going to tell me that they're an activist, that they're a teacher, that they're a Muslim, that they're Christian, that they're of this, they're a QAnon, they're a flat earther, they're this. They're, they're going to tell me that they're that. I don't even look at them as that. I don't even look at them as that. I understand and respect where their their level is at, but I already look at the, I look at them above that. Me, it's the same with me. I'm not identified. My identity is not attached to to rapper or or anonymous or you know or, or, or activism or whatever the fuck. Like those are things I do. Mm-hmm. I'm, those are the things I do, but yo, there's so much extra work that needs to be done. There's so much more work that needs to be done in here than there ever will be in the streets or on the TV. hundred percent. Sure. hundred percent. Yeah. Hey man, I just want to let everybody know right now uh, who's watching. Uh, we do have the phone lines open. If you guys want to call in, uh, I got a bunch more questions for Steve. We're going to get it in. We're going to keep going. But if you guys have any questions or comments or anything that you want to chime in, the phone lines are open. The number to call in is 251-263-0001. Call in with your questions or comments. We'll get you through and uh, join the conversation. Um, man, there's, there's there's so many places to go from here. Um, and I want to get I want to get deep with you. I want to get controversial. Um, Word. And I got some more stuff lined up. But... Um, okay. One of the things that we were talking about before we went, went live was the whole, you know, we, we you you were giving me uh, kudos and everything for the podcast and kind of stepping out this this area. And I've been doing it for years. And uh, some of my podcasts, I talk about this all the time. I used to get like fifty, sixty thousand, forty thousand views every episode. Like if we're talking about sun gazing. I mean, it could be in, in the episode could suck. Like it, it couldn't have been like you know I'm stuttering. I'm all over the place. But for some reason. The the content would get 40,000 views. Now I'm lucky if I get 400 because of the YouTube algorithms and the search, yeah. the way that goes. The, I'll have they, people who will search my video by name. They'll write the full title up and it gives you somebody else's video. Like my <laughs> official video that we spent a lot of hard earned money on won't even come up because the algorithms have suppressed, suppressed us. And we were talking about that before we went live, man. So let's kind of kind of go yeah, down that yeah. alley for a minute. That no, hundred percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. And and guess what? Even more kudos to you for and, and everyone else that's getting wiped off of, of of all types of YouTube, Facebook. Like everyone's like all types of different pages are getting murked. Everyone's getting murked at, at this Jones point. First. And um, oh well, yeah. Well, he's. I mean, that's like yeah. He's an easy one. That was like a yeah. that was like a fucking you know. Uh, they were just ringing the a, dinner example, bell at that point. Example making an example type deal. Yeah, or I thought it was yeah example and like all right now it's co- the the domino boom 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 here it comes because there doesn't matter whether you love Alex Jones or hate that man or you don't fuck with none of his information doesn't matter to the mainstream and the controllers you're in the same category as an Alex Jones. all of, <laughs> we sure. all are we're yeah. all you know what I'm saying like unfortunately yeah. it, but whatever um but yeah no I was saying like kudos to you for even and 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 anyone else that that's still going. And be and still pumping the shit out with the shadow banning and the blocking and the censorship yeah, and the removal. It's hard, bro, like, dude. It is it, so it, it, hard. No, it is. It is. It is. A hundred extra but, views means so much right now, dog. I ain't I gonna lie to you. It's so crazy. <laughs> It's it all right is. though. I got you. It's like the the the, the views is like the the vein. You know. What I'm well, saying? I tell you what though. For some reason, and, and I, I, I maybe I had to train my mind this way, but I feel like those four hundred views on a podcast are like really engaged viewers. Like there are people who really get it. Like yeah. it's not just, you know, 7,000, 10,000 people just clicking and, and moving on or whatever. I feel like those 400 people who like, like they really get it. I, I, that's yeah. how I feel. No, I, I, I agree. It's probably, yeah, because I mean, cause it's a podcast. So like, that means you're, you're sit, you're listening. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, you know, well, the, like uh, I said, uh, I mean, you know what I'm saying? The numbers used to be 40,000, bro. Like I mean, now they're four hundred on some on on the uh, 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? YouTube. Thing, it's different. It's different on the audio side. The audio side. Because there's wor- the words, the words good. that you use. It, it, it has whatever the yeah. system is. I'm, you know. It, All right, it we're, we're done. It and then you're this done. episode is done. It's over. Oh yeah, for sure, hundred percent, hundred percent, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. Um, the yes, like I mean, um, oh, but what I was gonna say was is that for the past around three years, for me, three years ago, I, it started happening to me really bad. Yeah. And I was like, okay, this is, this is happening, you know, okay, it is what it is. Um, and so what I started to do, like, like, like if I go on Instagram, I actually, I don't like, I don't click like, I don't like anything. Not, not like I don't like anything, but I mean, like, yeah. I don't click the like, but you know what I'm saying? Um, I, 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 and when I post, when I post, which now lately has been very rare, um, I actually don't use hashtags. I don't write any. I kind of just. I, I'm trying to keep it organic and raw. I, I, I'm not. I'll admit. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. All I know <laughs> is that. All I know is that I'm. I know that I'm switching it up. And what it's doing, it's. I think it's. I think it's like resetting me. I think it's resetting my activity because it's seeing where I go. You know, what I'm saying there's there's pages where I'll swap out of a different account. And go to a, go to a certain because like if I want to go see what type of a sheeple thing is going on in the mainstream with the celebrity or something, I don't want to go to that celebrity's yeah, page through my all account. you'll see on your feed, bro. Right, exactly. So I go to to my another one, and I'll just you know whatever the fuck. Yeah. So it's but it's crazy that we now have to like you know I, I was talking to um, Justin Harvey, he's another one that's had really had to you know, uh, get over the hurdles with his posts, his posts were getting hit hard all the time. And he had to figure out different little tricks and ways to post things and make it so that it actually does catch a good algorithm, even though his post has controversial shit. You know, it's not even controversial. It's fucking truth, bro. What the fuck? Like, you know what I'm saying like at yeah. this point, you know, yeah. but yeah, bro. And anybody that, uh, there's another dude named, uh, Uriah, um, UB news. He, uh, okay. he's got a channel, um, his channel. He's, his, his his shit's funny because like his YouTube channel gets gets wiped, or they'll just take all his videos, and then his Instagram account, he got up to like twenty two or twenty three something Instagram accounts that he had to keep. He's like, all right, this is my third account. Oh, this is my fourth account. This is my fifth. Literally coming Man, back every yeah. fucking time, bro. And you know, but it's the thing is, we we I feel like we should maybe not even complain anymore. I think we should just accept it and realize. We are in the devil's playground playing with his toys anyway. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. we're, you know, it's it's at that level. <laughs> yeah. They're definitely throttling us, man. It's, it's weird. But I'm trying to, you know, I'm keeping my head up. I'm trying to, well, it's the weird thing because I'm at this point. I'm trying to figure out what works. Like, you want to figure out what works and keep doing it. Like, if it's, if it's yeah. your Facebook page, if it's your Facebook group, if it's your YouTube, just focus on it. Find out what works. And, and like, back in the day, all of it worked for us. You know what I'm saying? Every right. single bit of well, it. You know now, it is, like, none of it's working. It's kind of weird. Yeah. It's two things now, I think. Two things. One one main thing. And then, so two, first, I think you have to flood. You have to be daily content once or twice a day posting and flooding all, um, oh, shit. Oh, are you there? Damn. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I got you. All right. Oh, fuck. That, all right, all right. <laughs> it went uh, out for a second. Yeah. <laughs> Um, the, uh, yeah, one is, um, content constantly across all platforms or as many platforms that you can fucking get your hands on, you know what I'm saying? And just, and literally you're going to be battling, but you're going to be creating your own new algorithm. It's going to, it's going to pump because people, when you're consistent content, psychologically, even people that don't even fuck with you yeah. will probably right still, you know what I'm though. saying? You're right. You know what I'm You're saying? right about yeah. that. Yeah. And every day and they the second, t- people I don't know are telling me about their day every day, I, whether it's a story, you Instagram story, Facebook yeah. story. It's it, and people want to see it. People. Yeah. I was having a chat about, Oh wait, actually wait, before I digress, the, the, the other thing is that physical, um, physical face to face interactions with people, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or video chats like this or doing talks at a, being on stage or a platform yeah. and talking. Yeah. Cause then there's no filter. There's no censorship. There's, you know what I'm saying? It's that, that's the shit because then you, then you're in there and, and now you have that person or that group of people with you and you can discuss everything and anything and connect with them maybe even deeper than you can with just a normal um, post or video or whatever the fuck it is. But like, 
I think being onslaught on all levels, like even me, I have to, I'm trying to like recalibrate and re-understand my whole position of, of where I'm at and how to relaunch and reassert myself and what I want to do and what content I want. So like that, I'm, I'm in my little transitional stage right now myself because I'm also sit back and I'm sitting back and observing and trying to learn right now what, what what's happening with yeah. all this and where it's going and you know what I'm saying? So like I'm trying to be, I'm trying to be proactive mentally. Yeah. You know, you know what shit. I think, you know what I'm saying? We, we have the, we have the algorithms, but I would say that we were, or we are kind of forerunners. I've always felt like a forerunner for something new, a style of music stylistically. Um, and, and, and you were definitely there in the early days of like hip hop and like, uh, as far as like, um, activism is concerned and, and you know what I'm saying? Revolutionary hip hop is what it was called. Um, so, but now it's caught on. Like w- w- we were forerunners of something that caught on, and now the younger generations yeah. are catching on, and they're doing it. So now, even with me with the podcast, like those like those forty thousand views per YouTube video, they were in the early days. Nobody was podcasting. This was in twenty eleven, twenty twelve, twenty thirteen, fourteen. Yes, you know. And yes. then now it's getting popular. Everybody has a podcast. Everybody is a rapper. Everybody's an activist. Everybody's just so now we have the algorithms as one and two it's flooded. The content is flooded. You got all of these podcasts and all of these these activists and all of these these awesome thumbnails and all of these awesome well produced podcasts and so it's like it's flooded now. So now you just gotta kind of kind of pick and you gotta kind of wade through it all, you know. Yeah, because now I mean, you could just you can. There's apps that you could just use and 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 fucking make some crazy ass awesome shit with your phone right then and yep. there, and that's yep. it. Like we're living in time. Like as bad as shit is, as corrupt as our technology is, as as fucked up as shit is, it's the double edged sword. We are living in incredible times, and we're living in times where you actually can get to a successful position in your life, to where you're 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 generating abundance for yourself that will allow you to come out and do the great work, which is to provide service to others and raise them up. Cause we can only, we can only take people as far as we've taken ourselves. Yeah, for That's sure. why I'm always trying to, you know, you keep chiseling, keep chiseling. I'm always learning some new shit and I'm always fucking up and I learn from my <laughs> fuck ups. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like yeah. fuck ups and mistakes are fucking our vital lessons, bro. Yeah. Heavy. Yeah. Fail often for sure. Yes. Um, yes. We, got, we got a couple of people on the phone lines, man. You want to jump to some of these calls? See who we got here. Word. Let's hit it. All right. We got my friend, uh, Justin, Justin Jaws from, uh, Pensacola, Florida. Justin, what's going on, man? Welcome to the podcast. Hey, how's it going, Derek? How y'all doing today? Doing great, man. How are you? I just wanted to call and say I'm doing awesome. I'm doing awesome. I just wanted to call and say that your beard looks gorgeous right now. <laughs> yeah man it's uh it's a uh it's a combination of the lighting the background lighting and the contrast the contrast that i have on this camera it makes it look a little bit better than it does in person so yeah mufasa <laughs> keep putting out great content man hey man uh you gotta, take care we gotta leak up soon brother you're right down the road from me yeah for sure he's less than an hour away it's crazy been following yeah. the work for years we have it linked up. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, it's crazy. Hey, it's crazy. Y'all better hey, man, go thanks. get a bite to eat somewhere, man. But we, we were, we've been talking about it. We just haven't done it. <laughs> right, right, yeah. Yep. All right, bro. Have you have to, a good night, man. Thank you, bro. You too. Take care. All right, peace, peace. For the sure. Harley Beard. Heck yeah. Well, hey, bro, I'm going to be at the Emory show in Pensacola. I'm coming to the Vinyl Music Hall to hang out with, uh, no, I'm going to see Emory. So it's in your neck of the woods, so. Come hang out. Uh, another caller here from um, Illinois. Caller from Illinois. Uh, you're on the line with uh, True Seeker and Steve Grant. Who are we speaking with? Caller from it's the still Justin, bro. You tried to switch it up, bro. I ain't hanging up on you guys. What's going on? Who are we speaking with? I am. I am. Woo! I'm in everything, and I am everything, and I am. For sure, who is this? You know about wisdom <laughs> singing, singing your it's, song. It's, it's Justin Murphy, bro. It's Justin Murphy, bro. What up, man? It, How you it's doing? It's American for fucking. It's American for French fry. How am I doing? Um, I made a lot of really expensive paintings. I should. You want a video chat? I need to show you something I <laughs> I, I created, dude. For sure, we definitely could do that, man. Let me show you. No, we can't do Let it right now. Let me show you my little home. 
We can't do it right now. Right. We can do it later. <laughs> That's what's up. For sure. You got a question for Steve? Or anything else, bro? Team, brother? Yes, dude. Now, wait. Who am I Who am I speaking to? I'm, I'm speaking to Truth Seeker, right? Truth Seeker and Steve Grant. Yeah, this is Truth Seeker. What's up? Tell me more about Steve Grant because I, I, know, I know not of his history. So oh, I need you need, context. He, he told you to, you need to Google him. Google him and come back to this. Yeah, or YouTube. You, just YouTube it. Just YouTube it. <laughs> This is you too. I'm okay, I got a question for y'all. I got a question. All right. Calypso. Calypso. My question is, Calypso, crook and flail, do I release with will to love or do I remain in the dream with knowledge the only worthy one will come eventually? Because All Calypso, right. dude, she loves men that can walk on water. Steve Grant, but that's for you. Of my tomb, the, the answer really one to be the, the answer, the my friend, of divinity. The answer, my friend, is actually all at once. It's a polarity that you carry together. Actually, why the enemy with you? What the enemy? All right, Justin, man. Uh, 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 thanks for the call, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you can show me a house another time, bro. Send me a video chat or video message or something. Come on. Uh, hey, true seeker. What are you doing? Do an interview? That? Hey, come on over and chill, bro. <laughs> Who's this guy? Steve who? <laughs> Steven. All right. Uh, we got, we're going to, uh, Anna here from, uh, the 951. Anna, what's going on? What's up, true? What up? Is this Anna? This is. No, it's Hayden. It came up in the wrong wrong name. Okay, well I won't I won't introduce the names anymore because that doesn't work. What's going on, bro? <laughs> Not much, man. I just figured I'd call call in, man. Uh, I haven't called in yet, and I've been listening to this this stream, and this is some good this is some good good stuff right here, man. I really like how he's talking about how the world's really waking up. Um, I feel Where? like. I feel like he's right on with that. Um, also, too, uh, I don't know. I just feel like. Um, hold on, I'm getting freaking. I gotta get the headphones off. All right. I just feel like, man, that uh, there's a whole movement out there right now of people who are waking up, and people who realize that the free energy is there. Um, everything to take down all the corporations, um, the people that have the hold on us, it's out there and people are starting to, uh, discover it. And like you were talking about quantum, quantum related topics, um, I, I feel like they're really, um, getting into that with particle physics and other things. They're starting to discover the secrets of the universe. And I have a question for you guys. Um, do you think that spirituality and science will coincide sometime in the future? To the eye of the beholder, for sure. I think that, I think that science is proving spirituality. Like it's giving us the science behind this, the spirituality. Like there's so right. much that that's, that's going yeah. on. And if you like, if you can read between the lines for sure, like they're actually proving spirituality, I believe. Yeah. I, like I would say, yeah, that I have, I have, you would, uh, you would also look at it as like, you know, uh, the conventional mainstream science, maybe not so much, but a little bit, but real, real science, like the ancient science, um, comedic science. It's all, yeah, exactly. Exactly. It, uh, spirituality is the original science. You know what I'm saying? Like in, in that sense, we're now living in a time where everything is so, compartmentalized and 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 in the realm of material um you know as humans we naturally like to visualize things and have things in front of us so there's a lot of separation and a lot of different you know different things and things get convoluted and get confusing a little bit so like even science today uh i mean I, i could just only hope that in the very very far future uh spirituality and science is actually one one study yeah, man, that's my that's that's like a dream for me, honestly. It's well, like a if humanity dream, gets dream to that it, bro. point, dream it, 
dream it, dream it, dream it, and then act on that dream so we can have it, bro. So I can use it. <laughs> I actually just signed up for college yesterday because I'm, I, I don't know, man. I, I hate having to go through all the institutions, you know, but I want to go far, you know, and all this stuff coming out with quantum physics and stuff and how there's like a quantum wave field. The universe is filled with 90% dark energy. I feel like, like, I know this is uh, kind of controversial to say, and it's just a theory. There's nothing what controversial here, nature, bro. <laughs> uh, what if nature is God? What if the quantum wave field that goes through everything is the essence and the energy? Well, yeah. That, um, I mean, you would have to, I mean, I mean to cut you off, but I mean, you, you kind of already answered what you're saying in your statement because – Again, now, and this is no disrespect to anybody at all, but whatever your version of God is, if it's the biblical one, then maybe not so much. Like, not not like biblical Christianity only, but I'm just saying the guy in the sky type of mentality. Or there's a male, like God is a male, you know, putting a putting a, um, a gender on God and humanizing it, then then maybe not so much. But yeah, man, I mean... From what I've understood and learned on this on this earth, I mean, y- you are God. I am God. We like God is not a, a, a somebody, um, and it's not a something. It's 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 you. You, you. you understand what I'm saying? Like, and I know it's such a corny thing because it's it's like so surface, you know. But when you actually have that moment with yourself and you realize that you literally are not alone. Not meaning like, yo, like, like you can literally be alone in your room and understand like through, through training and practice and study, you can be one with God, that God presence. And again, we only use the term God and source and this and that. And we use the term quantum mechanics, quantum physics, you know what I'm saying? Because we can't fully describe things that are out of our vocabulary. We just can't because it gets to the point where energy and vibration turns into a whole different realm that many people would think would call magic or uh, uh, mystic stuff or whatever, which pretty much it is. Um, but it's not the, it's not the, the, you know, fairies and goblins <laughs> shit, you know, whatever. Um, I think it's all God, it bro. I yeah, think nature yeah. is God. I think, I think uh, what I like to say is I think it's all emanations of God. I think that everything is like it and you trace back the DNA or where it came from or its conception or the idea of it comes from uh, a supreme creator of some type of divine intelligence, if you will. And which speaks through the wind, which speaks through the trees, which speaks through our conversation tonight. Like it, it speaks right. through everything. If you're listening, you can hear the voice and you of know God the language. speak through all that. And- and you know the language. You got to learn the language. Yeah. And, w- and I think I think what we've been talking about, I think the language is love. I think it's love and acceptance and walking in unity and, and, and those things, which, you know, we, we don't see from the mainstream. We see division and, you know what I'm saying, dissension and all, all of these kind of things. But, but love and understanding and even walking together, even though you don't agree on, on everything. Like to see, I see God in that, bro. You know? Right. That's really real. So, hey, man, thanks for the call. Uh, we'll jump to, we got a couple more callers here. Phone lines are open, man. You guys want to jump in? We're going to speed through these callers here. 251-263-0001. Call us up. Let us know what you got on your mind. So we got a uh, caller here from the uh, 216 area code. Call you live with True Seeking Steve Grant. Who are we speaking with? Oh, what's up, brothers? This is uh, Mariano Torres. Um, how you doing, oh. Steve? How you doing? What's up, brother? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. You know, okay. just uh, going through the day-to-day basics. Um, Word. I do have a question. Um, I went through, you know, uh, my activism. Um, every day is activism because, you know, it comes from the heart. And also found my spirituality through activism, uh, which is kind of funny, but, you know, trying to balance the two at the yeah. same time. Right, um, right, right, right. You know... Um, not sure about the words to speak, but I know I found like my inner source, my inner core. And then I also learned it see, helps me see the spiritual side also of activism and where a lot of the stuff comes from. I've got 
gotten lost, you know, in the loops from time to time. Um, uh, like you were saying earlier about everything's out to get you type type of stuff. And that, right. you know, there are forces that are out to get you. But at the same time, we have to hold that balance. Yeah. You know, going in between the worlds. You for know. that to be true, for like for there to be forces that, that are out to get you, we believe that, we've taught on that, we have songs about that, then the opposite yeah. has to be true as well, right? There, there's forces out there out to oh, help yeah. you. Forces. There's yes. forces that oh, want to help you. Exactly. Now let's yes. focus on that for a couple albums. <laughs> you hey, know I mean? hey. You know? <laughs> Most definitely. Real talk. And I Real just want to say I appreciate what y'all do for the collective and the work that y'all do, man. You both hey. are inspiration to many. For sure, hey, man, homie, that's for real as fuck, bro. Hey, mad, mad love, and I see you out there, bro. You on, you on the, you on the social media, bro. You, you blasting shit. You sharing shit. I be catching it, bro. I be catching maybe oh, like yeah. 96 percent of it. You know what I'm that's saying? That's a huge so, percent. Hey, that, that's <laughs> oh, yeah. a massive. That's oh a massive. yeah, most definitely, man. Right. Uh, thanks for the autograph CD, fam. That you sent me oh, a while word. back. <laughs> that's real. Fuck yeah, bro. Respect. Hey, keep. Keep at I, the level of, of of your shit, bro. Keep at what you're doing, homie. And I would even encourage okay. gotcha. you to to expand, go f- further, mm-hmm. go into areas that you're actually unfamiliar with, and grow a little bit more. As far as because, man, it, some pe- I don't know about you, brother, but there's some people mm-hmm. out there that that cannot look themselves in the mirror and say I love you, like they don't love themselves, right. So right, you know what I'm saying? definitely, like, and oh yeah, I I definitely agree. And most of the times, it's like we've been programmed over time to we've been programmed to not look within. I think through uh, certain programming that we've been look to look on the outer side to you know distract us for ourselves and distract us from our divine divinity. Right, that and that's that's what I was saying uh, a little bit earlier. That that the biggest the biggest uh, uh, the biggest control that they have on us isn't even their control. It's our own damage that we're doing to ourselves. It's our own self defeating mind, our own limiting thinking. We've yeah. you know yeah they set it all up around us to influence us. But that's the that's the the good that's the beauty of it is that we actually have the fucking power to actually change our own fucking brain. You know what I'm saying? Like one of the biggest no kickers for me was like. I remember, you know, I think about it like this, like when we grow up, all of our friends, teachers, Mm -hmm. TV, school, situations, you go to camp, you go in the cafeteria, all these things, people are saying shit to your brain when you're a kid and you're believing some Mm -hmm. of this stuff. And we grow up with that shit. You bring that childhood shit into your adulthood, but it's only supposed to serve you as as the child, not in the adult. You know what I'm saying? So getting into... Getting into like the emotional traumas and where and where you feel stuck, that's that's where the healing begins. Mm-hmm. And you gotta fucking just stay in the lane of d- make sure your ratio of of activism and spirituality, like spirituality, you know, uh, whatever like seventy to activism thirty. Because you know what, bro? Here's what's fucked up: right. is that they did a really good job at infiltrating what activism is supposed to be. And now it's watered down, and a lot of times it's not even taken serious, bro. Oh, yeah, most definitely, man. I, you know, I've read into that myself. And, um, oh, yeah. And, <clears throat> you know, balance, balance is everything, <laughs> you know. But, um, you know, finding, finding your path and stepping in, I've learned through, you know, uh, watching, my, watching different videos and stuff, I've learned to step into my own power and – you know, to believe in myself and moving forward, you right. know, and helping, not just helping myself, but helping the people around me and, right. you know, That's beautiful. bringing a message That's beautiful. for, you know, the betterment of humanity. So it was nice talking to you, brothers, but I got to go cook my son something to eat. Hey, it was man. a pleasure. Thanks for the call, brother. Much love and respect to y'all. Hey, man, uh, love thank you, man. Homie. Thanks for having me. Appreciate you, brother. I'll see you on the fucking internet, bro. Be good, man. Sure, Much love to sure. the fam. Got you, man. Oh, yeah. Beautiful Peace call, up. man. Always good to hear from the people, man. Hear from the supporters and people who really get it. Like they get it. Like, and that's the thing too. Like, just to think that it's something that we're going through, like our own spiritual awakening or our own spiritual progress, alchemy. Like everybody's going through it, and we, and we, and, and the music shifts and the music morphs and um, 
it becomes the soundtrack for their awakening, you know? Yeah. It's yeah. I always tell people like I, one of my things I say is like, you know, if, if I'm, you know, if I learn something that I can teach somebody, you know, I'll tell them that. But I also say like, we're, we're I'm in the same classroom as you. We're all in the same classroom. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. there's, you know, like let, let's share notes. That's where the agreeing to disagree comes in. Share notes. Cause bro, I can disagree with somebody, but here's the trick to agreeing to disagree. I should be able to understand you and understand where you're coming from and understand your feelings and understand why you're like that. And therefore I won't have a problem with what I disagree with. Yep. That's and vice beautiful, versa. Dude, dude, it's so deep. When I, th- I think for me, like a huge leap in my spiritual evolution happened when I started putting myself in their shoes. Okay. Why does this person even like far out, crazy out there, you know, stuff that you would never agree with, but you understand, look, I, I, I see where you're coming from. I know why you believe it. Your dad was this. You went to this type of church for like your right. whole life. You know what I'm saying? You, you, when you were at your lowest point, you ran into this type of teacher or uh, Muslim or whatever. Like, and, and that's why you're into Islam. Like I get it. It helped you. Like you needed it. It showed up even though we disagree. But, um, but even with that, finding what we can agree on and building past that again, like it's really huge right now. I really Dude. feel like there's a lot of power there when we put all the, the stupid stuff aside or whatever. And it's not stupid. It's it's beautiful. It means something to you, but, but not having to be right, not having to win the conversation or whatever the case is to walk together right. and, you know what I'm saying, unity with somebody. Right. I'm, I'm dead on. You're dead on with that. hundred percent. Got another caller here from Miami, Florida. Caller from oh, the 305. Shit. Who we speaking with? You're oh. live with True Seeker and Steve Grant. Who's I better know with? you if you're in Florida, bro. Whoa, this is your boy Steve Grant. <laughs> That's a good now, impersonation. Let us think in. Who do you think that I'm actually am, Steve? Who do you think oh, I am? Oh my bro? god, I already know. I already know exactly who the fuck you. Is. You fucking. You this fucking junior, did not bro. think that I would not miss this shit. <laughs> yeah, this is baby anonymous. What's up? <laughs> What's up, homie? What's up, homie? I'm glad you called in, brother. <laughs> First thing, two seeker, uh, long time fan, long time viewer, fucking love you, bro. Keep hey, doing that real shit. Steve, listen, I ain't nothing to say about you either, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I'm glad that you're back, man. I just had to call it in, man. I fucking miss you guys, and I love you guys, and I have no questions, man. You're word. you're answering every fucking thing I had in my head. Uh, Throw something out word. there, man. Throw something yeah, out what there. What got, is brother? it? What Aliens, flat earth. What is it you want to hear about? What We're going to get into what it all, got, man. Bro? What do you want to hear? <laughs> bro, bro, bro. We can throw away the flat earth shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear nah, what Steve not, Grant. Let's, uh, let's not throw it too far away. Hold on. Let's not Come throw on it too now. We're going to get it in. But, but, but not. Nah, but Junior, what do you got? You got a question, homie? No, 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 no. I just had to call you to let you know that, I, that I, hey, man, you don't, you didn't even think that I would not catch this, right? <laughs> no, I think in the back of I my head. I see everything, homie. I, I, <laughs> that's good. I'm glad I got extra eyes on my back, bro. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's all love, baby. You already know, man. So, yo, I'll let you guys go so that we guys, you guys can continue on with the calls, all right? But I love you Word. guys. Keep doing you three. True Suka, you already know. Steve. Peace. <laughs> Shalom, brother. Mad Peace. love, brother. Thanks Mad love. Call. Yeah, man. Flat Crazy Earth. ass junior. I love Flat it. Earth. Flat Earth. Where are we at with this? I watched the documentary. Yes, a documentary. I watched the debate between three flat earthers and three scientists yesterday. Very, right. very um, interesting. What, what, what do you think about uh, Flat Earth? Where do you get in on that whole Flat Earth? I'll tell you. So Flat Earth for me, uh, like it was like it, it came up on my radar, I think maybe 2000 like the end of 2014 maybe something 15 something like that it came up it came up on my radar and then i was like all right what's this now here's the thing here here's the situation is that when you get in issues like this it's pretty much all issues but issues like this there's always going to be fucking noise on top confusion arguing bullshit nonsense there might be some little bit of truths in there but it's all noise and it's all loud underneath is where the true source is and what really needs to be heard and it's not getting heard so i actually flat earth for me was by far the easiest and quickest conspiracy theory for me to understand and it wasn't even like 
it wasn't even, I don't even think it should be called flat earth. Like go research the flat earth. It should be research earth period. And then you as an individual need to go in and scan through all the models, do the damn research. And when I say do the research, that means you better know to go to someone who is actually already plugged in, who's already a good source that you actually value their, their choice of, of, uh, 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 of information. So you don't get caught first initially seeing people arguing. Because if you see people arguing, you're turned off by it already. Yeah. You don't even want to be in, you know what I'm saying? So like, that, and, and that's the thing. So like with flat earth, I would say it wouldn't, even, it shouldn't even be called flat earth theory. It should be called, it, it's, it's more so that it exposes, exposes that we're not, oh shit. Are you there? Yeah. Well, I, I, okay. It exposes more that we're not on a ball than it is that we're on a flat plane. That, that's, that's, that's the takeaway with that. And when you get into the, it's, it's a comparison of heliocentric and, and geocentric models is what it is. There's other concave, convex, other, you know what I'm saying? Like me personally, where I, where I landed, I think flat earth is just the beginning because what's it going to be in 20 years when we learn what pieces fall out of the, the pool of the rabbit hole? You know what I'm saying? So like whether you believe in flat earth uh, uh, or, or not or whatever, if that person is taking something like the flat earth content and not executing and properly delivering their piece, they are doing a disservice for the content of flat earth. Cause therefore flat earth is going to come up as some fucking bro, hot bro, bro, nonsense bro, and bullshit. bro, 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 bro. I'm getting this across my feed, bro. I don't know how true this is, but they're all saying that, uh, Trump has just been impeached. Like it's it's all over CNN, New York Times. This so then, what's his name? Uh, Vince or Pence will be uh, will be president, I guess. Crazy, huh? or may, or they might move someone in. Yes and no. I mean, I'll, I'm probably one of the very very few people that. I mean, I'm just like I, I don't. I'm, I'm so away from it that whether he gets impeached, I am too. what's he got to do with the price of rice in China? In the, Nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, my, no. like, here's the thing. Here's what people need to understand. Here's what people need to understand. They're always going to be running the show. How are you going to fucking actively live your life? And because provide Trump, service? Weasel, Trump got in there. Trump was us, man. He was standing up for the people, bro. <laughs> it's like you know people funny? really thought that they got one. We got, we voted one in. It was so crazy. Bro. Right. Well, that's, you know, that's why there's layers. You know, you yeah. have this new wave of, of people coming in, these new younger cats. If, they kind of you know, felt like we like, won, like everything was paying off, like we finally won. He got in there to. Well, I guarantee they still will feel that way because their identity is attached to Trump now. So or they, they're they attached to whatever, you know, it's, it's an identity crisis situation. bro. Yeah, People's yeah, identity yeah. gets attached to, you know, it's the same thing with the celebrity worship, bro. It's really, really bad. Like if someone like I don't ever want anyone to worship me or put me on some crazy pedestal. Like if you're inspired by me, you have admiration, respect. You get good, uh, you get good vibes from me. You fuck with my content. That's that's it, maxed out. I don't need to be a god to you. I don't need to be the fucking super person of your life and whatever. Because guess what? I'm still gonna live my life and I'm still gonna do shit that may not equate to this pedestal that you put me on. Yeah. So now, so this is actually dope. I'm glad that we're live and this and that happened. Whatever. Yeah, the fuck. yeah, yeah. So that's interesting. So, uh, but yeah, but here's the thing: is that you still, as a person, are going to be having to go to your job, still work on yourself, <laughs> still get your shit together. Yeah. Still, so it's literally, it, it literally, it literally does not matter. And that's one of the biggest things I think people are caught in. They're caught in their fucking news feed, and they're caught in the fucking mainstream program. The television is now in your news feed, and now everyone that's on the mainstream bullshit. If you want to be someone that picks apart the mainstream stream and complain about the mainstream you are still giving relevance to the mainstream that's that's the 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 the, the, the kickback double whammy whatever like <laughs> you know because at, at first it feels it feels good to 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 um break it down and be like oh what's going on in the news today uh you know joe biden uh did, like okay per- perfect example perfect example epstein epstein well, okay talk about that yeah Okay, when Epstein got murked, okay, 
whatever, if it's really his body, if it's really him, if it's another clone, da, 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 whatever. I mean, it's, at that point, it's all speculation. No one's ever going to fucking know. But my point is, is that when that happened, that was like throwing and, 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 the, and it released, it came out. That was like throwing uh, chum and to the, to the conspiracy theorist piranhas. Like, like they couldn't wait to get their fucking, I'm like, yo, Jimmy Savile, what, what, he been, he been doing like he, Epstein ain't the first bro, but yeah. he's the first with this. He's the first to be known in this newer wave of people. And he's the first to be known as a suicide or murdered pedophile at this scale of media attention, Yeah, which, weird, which is changing the game. The oh, weird what? thing is though, it's sad though. Because we have memes and everybody knows about it, but it's like ain't shit we can do. Correct. Everybody, there's memes and I mean, there's celebrities who are like, I mean, it's out there. Everybody knows it. It's fishy. Everyone knows. Yep. And what? And what? You can't, right. You're That's gonna, why you're gonna rally. You're gonna march. And I'll tell you, you know, this. So I think my um, my big thing, what kind of did it for me with the you know the marching and the rally, and we used to street preach. We used to go outside of courthouses and and rebuke them and tell my Babylon is falling. We used to like be real, you know, deep with it. But when I seen, what was it? Um, several years ago, um, was by 20, 2011 or something like that. What was the big, the big movement where everyone came together? I mean, you had doctors, lawyers, they were all rallying in the streets. They shut down businesses. The police force were taken off of work to be a part of this March. What was it called, bro? Uh, everyone was involved with it. And then in the middle of the night, the cops come and, and arrest everyone and whisk them off with pepper spray when the cameras weren't there and and clear, clear the cities. It was a worldwide March, like a worldwide movement that happened. I can't think of the name of it. Somebody help us out in chat. Um, Yeah, I can't, I'm not thinking of the name. Yeah. um, Help me out. I know, you know, Um, it was that that big March. It it, it wasn't massive, Matt. You're saying worldwide? Yeah. 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 like, Like, and it, was and, it like a, was and it, they shut it a, down and a police brutality thing was it a police brutality thing or was it like no a, it was before that it was the uh it was the the whole you know what i'm saying one percent movement that whole one percent when it was big uh um, oh oh occupy. occupy occupy wall street occupy wall street occupy right, right, right. okay everyone yeah, yeah doctors yeah. and lawyers and police chiefs they yes. were all they were like you know what we're standing with the people and it was i feel like that was the biggest like if we were ever going to march, if we were ever going to overthrow this, this thing, I feel like yeah. it would have happened then. And then it just got swept under the rug. People got arrested. They, they put like plants in there. People like Antifa type people or whatever. And Boom. They you know did what I mean? Exactly, shut it down, they bro. did exactly what they were prepared for. They, yeah. you know, like you already know, we're dealing with fucking ancient mastermind wizard psychologist motherfuckers that are just like i don't even know what the fuck they are at this they were point. waiting like, on it if it ever happens have, you don't think they have protocol if this ever happens they have, this is what we do right that's why you know going back to, to 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 trump like that's why like here's what's interesting about that guy is that he did exactly what he was supposed to do so so i don't ever look at anything as too crazy or whatever like yeah like you know like I won't be surprised that I later find out that the impeachment was planned from the oh, beginning. Oh, it's definitely planned. It's not an accident. Like, you, Come you, on. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember Evelyn, Evelyn Rothschild. There was some shit I came across. Some FBI informer, uh, a former FBI um, agent or something, informant. He dropped some shit. I remember about Evelyn Rothschild moving like $5 billion behind Trump to get him in for the election. But um, there's, a, there's just a lot of weird things that are suspect with, with placement. And I, and I, I've, I've seen some of the QAnon shit too. So like shout out to all the QAnon people. I got no beef with nobody. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, but like, I mean, I, I was never for Trump since day one, but here's what's interesting. Here's what's interesting. And this is one of the reasons why he was able to captivate so many people, bro. If he, if you take Trump, his character, his demeanor, his everything, Let's say he wasn't a businessman, he wasn't president, he wasn't none of that. And that character was a wrestler. Which okay? he was. <laughs> ah, exactly. But here's the thing, is that if he originally came out as a wrestler, and that was his gimmick, Shtick. I, I would fuck with him. I would like him. 
I would like him. I love Trump out. when he was but, in uh, what, what was the show he had, uh, The Apprentice. I love to watch the fire, that the show. Fire the show. <laughs> Dude, that show was awesome. But when he ran president, man, get up. Right, right, right. And you know, again, like these, the, the the level of puppeteering is so beyond the political arena. That's why I don't even pay attention to it. Like people need to really get back into books. Read the fucking damn books. Yeah. Get back into books because. Yeah. Like the sure. internet shit has its value, but the books, bro, that's that's done. That's a locked. physical that's book. Concrete. Buy the yeah. damn physical yeah. books too. Hold it in your hand. Right. Smell it, dude. I got books from like the eighteen hundreds. I, I smell those mother. Books I love too. them. I smell you know books. what I'm saying? I got I got them old books, boy. It's something about it. It's magic in them books. Find me, go get me a cologne spray that is book smell. All right, dude. I got Ooh. I got uh what is it? I got uh some uh, uh helena blavatsky from the 1800s bro like some old no. re- it feels like bro. it's a holy relic bro it feels like the secret I'm not supposed to you have the this, secret bro. doctrine you have the yeah. secret doctrine yeah yeah Dude. secret doctrine. okay yeah. okay okay homie that by far is the most complex and i haven't even finished it it is the most complex piece of content that i've ever had to under bro you need to be worldly knowledgeable to, to i started that. i was writing my book right and so I'm trying to, uh, I, I was writing my book and then there was some, some topics that I wanted to get some extra information on. So I started doing my research, especially on like the spiritual metaphysical stuff. And I went to some of Blavatsky stuff and I was like, I need to put my damn book down. There's no way, <laughs> like, there's no way that I could even compete with what's already out. Like I'm just giving right. you my expertise, but it doesn't even hold a torch to her work nah, man. she was but now here's a great example here's a great example here's a great example helena petrovna for what for what we know you know but like all of that wisdom that she had all that channeling all the intuition and she was talking to the um oh my god i forgot what the fuck they're called but you know what i'm talking about the fucking uh, i forgot their names but there's like oh an my invi- god in, uh invis- invisible council invisible college yeah, yeah, there was yeah, a certain yeah. name that somebody recently told me that i forgot what it yeah was. okay it doesn't matter i'm like i have so many things running through my head right now all mm-hmm. right so uh 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 but um and she still she still smoked cigarettes how interesting you know like beer or liquor there's actually some sort of nutritional content in there somewhere but cigarettes there is nothing in there that that will do you right you know what i'm saying and I, I would I don't know how she would justify it, but I mean again, it just shows that you can be so vastly, profoundly deep and knowledgeable no, for and sure. still have still have your issues that you need to work oh, on. Oh, we all do. I, have, I do. I yeah. mean, you know what I'm saying? Like we all it's have a- our things. And and it goes back that kind of ties into what you were saying about all these people who put you on a pedestal and you're just right. a regular person and you just Correct. Like have you ever had those people who who meet you and you feel like you let them down? Like you met them and they're like, Oh, I thought I was meeting uh somebody else it definitely comes into play with the spiritual and the religious for sure but they always say this a quote they say never meet the people that you look up to i got a buddy of, i mean we've met like mega stars that we've looked up to for since we were kids you know what i'm saying and then we meet them and we feel like we know them because we know all their content we know all their lyrics and then we meet them and they're like hey man and they just turn a cold shoulder or whatever the case yeah. is or, or you think that like especially when, when the spiritual thing comes in because they they think that we're always meditating they think that we're always chanting and you know what i'm saying always reading yeah, like, and stuff when i and, first uh, came out like like yeah. like 2011 2012 2013 like yeah there was a handful of people that literally thought i was out protesting every fucking day yeah. like because they're watching my videos thinking that you yeah. know like i'm i'm high energy i'm high powered so i, I you know i pump out powerful shit but don't let that create a, a facade you know and that you know that's that's going to happen now um i've had a couple times where uh where like or like uh, um like a couple females they they were like they were like oh i thought it's, like they, they actually they weren't let down actually they were actually let up because they were like yo you're 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 so aggressive and 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 rough within your in your videos but when i hang out with you you're warm loving and and you know vibrant with your energy whatever so like they already were thinking that i'm this fucking super energetically aggressive lyrical hip-hop activist guy like 24 7 yeah and forgetting like yo like i will give you a hug and tell you i fucking love you you know what i'm saying 
And I'll also say, fuck those people over there because they're trying to fucking kill us. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's all in one package. Yeah. Um, that's a, that's a weird one, you know? So I try to, the the pedestal thing uh, I will say, I don't like it. I don't like it and I don't want it. And, but I also responsibly understand that it does happen. So every now and then when I do meet someone that is a little bit, you know, because think about it, if they've never met a celebrity or anybody in their life, like we're, we're, we're almost like, the oh, replacement sure. of it or the closest sure. thing they're you know, going to get to I talk to people on the phone and, and our, our discord and they freak out. Yeah. They listen so to I, hours and hours and hours of music and podcasts and interviews. And they're like, Oh my God, right. I can't, I can't believe I'm talking to you. I've literally had to like grab someone's shoulder. And like I would grab their shoulder and look at them and be like, Hey, 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 I'm, you know, I pump gas. I pump petrol oil in my car. I wait in lines like everybody else. I, you know, saying like, <laughs> I'm no, I'm, yo, I do the same things that you do. Like, and I, I would literally like calm them down a little bit because I don't want, I wouldn't even want to leave them in a state of awestruck, starstruck, oh, whatever. Yeah. Cause bro, I'm not a star. I'm not a fucking celebrity. I'm not fucking, you know what I'm saying? Like none of that shit, but I do understand the impact that I have on people. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So like, I, I, I'm responsible with that at least, you know? Yeah. Um, let's talk about this other, other thing, man. We talked about politics a little bit. We talked about Epstein. Um, but let, let's just, let's, I want to, I want to kind of, kind of read reiterate that on, on a little bit more of the Epstein thing. Again, yeah. uh, people know that we've been duped. People know that he's, he didn't kill himself or whatever the case is. And it's a meme and it's a big spectacle. And then we know we can't do anything about it. Like, oh, right, 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 right. This, like, that's like the biggest slap in the face yeah. of so-called the Illuminati, the Masonic Orders, the Rothschilds. It's like, oh, you know it? What you going to do about it? Nothing. You can't. Everyone knows about it. Well, how, that's like a, it's like a big L that we kind of, just to kind of put us in our place, almost thing. Like, everyone yeah, knows I mean, well, about it. Social media memes, is podcast. Yeah. I mean, it, it's, it's in our faces, especially when you, especially when you know how to s- see the signs and see things they, yeah, they, sure. they, many times they do it in our face but you know what i bring it back to and this is my philosophy which is basically like you know like i'll try to expose what's going on uh with, uh, with the zionist regime through my music through my yeah. music because bro i'm not flying over to into israel or palestine <laughs> and, so, and i'm not i don't have that capacity or power to do so so i'll, I'll at the very least just put it through my my music or put it through through uh, um, social media, but let's be real, bro. My music and social media is not going to save any single person over there in that war. It's not going to save no one. You know what I'm saying? Now, what can I do as an individual in my immediate surrounding of wherever I am on Earth, wherever you live, wherever you live, or if you go and travel? How are you where you when when you when you go to the place that you travel to? How do you how you how do you show up? Who do you influence? Who do you impact? What value do you get from those people? Or are you just showing up and not even looking to gain value? You're just there going by the flow of the, of the, of the, of the event or the evening or the day, or you're hanging out with, with a group of people and you're just hanging out, not really, you know what I'm saying? Like you're not showing up trying to actually be conscious of how you're showing up. Like, like going back into like, we can't do anything. Correct. 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 The, the only thing that we can do is is what we've what we've already been regurgitating, which is the poem, activating right? our active. Well, act, yeah, exactly, activating ourselves. Because, bro, think about it. Like, it, if someone if someone is stressed out all the time and they don't have any outlet, like, and they are going through a shitty ass fucking day, and shit's happening, and they get a flat tire, and they lose their money. And their cell phone charger dies and they're just having one of those days and whatever, or a a week and whatever. And then all of a sudden a little girl walks by and says, Hi, mister, I like your shirt and makes you fucking smile out of a moment of, you see what I'm saying? Or it could be anything. It could be you, you exchange your, your money at the, at the, at the cash register. And the, the guy says, you know, something really nice to you that like brightens your day up in that fucking moment because you you're not placed that that person's not proactively trying to put themselves around other people that are working on themselves that's that's what it is 
You're just, it's like, all right, it's just me against the world. Fuck it. I got this. I'm going to do me. I'm going to do me. I'm, yeah. I got this. I don't need nobody. And that mentality at the end of the day murks you. You have to fucking ego check your own shit, work on that little emotional trauma, that little unresolved issue, and be able to show up and be around people to where wherever I'm at, I'm, I'm, I'm providing a service. Wherever I'm at, I'm going to do my best. Yeah. Can I help? Can I help? Uh, can I do anything to the fucking pedophile overlords? No, I can't. <laughs> but guess what else was crazy, dude? I don't. Maybe I don't need to. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Maybe we don't fucking need to, bro. Because if we work on ourselves and we create a brand new level of vibration and consciousness, there it just it falls away. It's not going to be like it's not going to be. We need to hang all the politicians, even though I know plenty of people would be in for that, but. If we, and you know what, actually, you know what, I, this, I brought this back, I've said this years ago at, at the Million Mask March at, in Washington, D.C., and I had a group there, and I was like, yo, yo, like, this isn't, like, what do you think? What, you're going to run, you're going to take over the White House, and then what are you going to do? You're going to, you're going to, well, okay, we're going to, we're going to tie up everybody in the White House, and we're going to get on top of the, the, the rooftop of the White House and throw our banners over there and be like, yeah, we did it. And like, okay, great. Okay. All right. You, you accomplished that. Now, now that you've, you, 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 you worked up, you, you mastered, you mastered that, you mastered that tactical attack. Did you master on how to rebuild, how to create, how to show love to your fellow brother and sister? Like are, now that you've like, is any of that work been done or is it, has it just been only rage and frustration and anger and upset and, 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 and disbelief, which leads to destruction. You know, and this goes to the esoteric, exoteric. They, 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 they gave us the exoteric shit and they removed the esoteric. So we're, you know, we're left with the fucking most of the, uh, the destructive stuff. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Um, when it comes down to like a lot of these conspiracy theories, man, I, I, I kind of hold myself in reserve for a lot of things. I started there, right? I started there in the, and, and I think they helped me, and, you know, to think and to get to the bottom of stuff and things like that. They have their, their points, but uh, there's no end to them. Um, I feel like it's a huge disservice for these, a lot of these um, conspiracy theories as far as like when other people are involved, like civilians are involved. I mean, especially with the Alex Jones thing, you know, kind of like what happened to him. Like he's still going to trial and facing charges and stuff on uh, the stuff that yeah, he's, he's kind of spit out like – like if you're like with the conspiracy theories and you're putting out, whether it's Sandy Hook or these stage shootings or the Las Vegas at attacks or whatever, like if if um if you're you're right, you're a hero. Like if you get to the bottom of it and say your family didn't die and your family's tied up in a bunker somewhere, a hostage and the government had them like right. and, and you brought that out as maybe conspiracy theories think that theorists think they're going to do, then you're a hero. But if you're wrong, like if you're like saying that someone's ch family and children, they, they didn't die. You're lying to us. And their kids really were massacred at this school. And you're like, no, they didn't. No, they then you're like one of the biggest, most you're one of the right. biggest savages like out there. You know what I'm saying? So it's this weird like balance of like. Trying well, that's to get to why, the bottom of it versus these absolutes. Like, they did not die. Nobody died. So Alex Jones, he's facing charges now. So he's like, well, I didn't say that. It, I said it could have, you know, and he's like trying to backpedal and stuff, you know. Right. That's the difference between an Alex Jones and a fucking truth seeker and a Steve Grant. We could sit here and rattle off all types of shit and nothing's going to happen. You never got really that I, deep because there's because the, it's it's so cloudy yeah, and muddy yeah, right no, now where there's so much of that right now. Well, I have, I have, I have, I have, I, you know, and, and over the years affiliated, oh shit. I still wait, hear you. Can you hear me? We're good. Yeah, okay. We're okay. Good. Wait, wait, let me, wait, let me plug this shit in. Wait, um, wait, this may, this may, hold on a second. We're good. We're good. Keep talking. <laughs> Phone lines are open, ladies right, and gentlemen. Though, Call I, us I up. Did this. All right. Hold up. All right. You there? Yeah. We just got to worry about the echo. You're there though. I'm. We're good now. We're good now. I don't hear the echo yet. Okay. So, um, fuck. What was I saying? Uh, conspiracy theories going over the board and just all in with these crazy absolutes. Oh, like this yeah. is absolutely so what it the, is. You know. Yeah. So. Yeah. 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 So like. Oh yeah. 
so like over the years, my affiliation with uh, with the anonymous collective, um, there was there was a couple times where shit got a little bit too deep, and I definitely had to make a choice for my livelihood and remove myself uh, from a situation. Um, and then now also on the on the on the flip side of things. Um, I've actually, here's what's crazy. I've actually walked out of a gym one time and got a text message from a fucking zero, 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 zero. That was the number. And it was, it was a fellow Anon who was actually a friend. Thank great God. Cause that was dude didn't just found my, just had that access, just found my number, texted me said, Hey man, we know you're, we know you're in a, over here, this and that, da, 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 da. we wanted to reach out to you and connect with you about this and that. Da, 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 da. And that was the moment where like, yeah, that's cool. That's dope. But like, all right, this now, like I, I need boundaries. I need boundaries. Cause I, I gave, I gave too much into the movement to where I, I didn't have boundaries enough. I didn't have enough boundaries. So there, there was some, there was some weird edgy stuff. You know what I'm saying? And the one biggest one for me, where I literally had to just make that choice was uh, back in 2014 when uh, a group uh, of anons uh, smashed the site of Fort Lauderdale, a government website at, at Fort Lauderdale, because they were trying to get the, the, uh, the city of Fort Lauderdale had a ban for feeding the homeless. I don't know if you heard about that old man, Arnold Abbott, a 90 year old something man. He got arrested twice for feeding the homeless out there in Fort Lauderdale. And, uh, I actually was asked by the hive or the collective to, to, to speak on their behalf because we knew that they were going to take that story and spin it and make, you know what I'm saying? Um, and so I knew I was like, man, I'm going to be local in my city. I'm going to be putting my face on channel six news, local news. you like family, you know, like I had family pressure. I had police pressure. I had the, the, the collective watching me. I had whoever else was watching. Like it was a lot of pressure at that moment. And I literally said, I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to do this shit. And I, I showed my face. I spoke on it and uh, nothing happened, bro. That nothing happened to me that after that. And I waited. I was like, all right, it's been a week. Are they tailing? I was watching my ass. I was tailing it. I was seeing if they were tailing me. <laughs> Nothing, bro. Nothing. So, I mean, like, I, I'm thankful. I'm happy that they actually categorize me as some crazy psycho conspiracy theorist, whatever the fuck I am, because it allows me to blend in. Honestly, I'd rather yeah. have that title than to be in an Alex Jones position, because then you're in the hot seat, bro. You got like yeah. fucking mad snipers ready to just fucking off. You. Well, isn't that the, the the weird like fear that comes there? That's like, I'm a suspect. I got a target on me. They're looking for me like in some weird hysteria that's not really there. Like in your head, it's real. They're coming for me. They're watching my email. They're like, I got like, there's this thing called proton mail or proto mail. Like people are like, Hey, I want to send you an email, but you got to sign up for this mail. I'm like, I'm not signing up for that email, but send it to my <laughs> Yahoo. Dude, I talk about this stuff openly on my podcast, bro. They know I'm out here doing this. Like, right, you know, right, <laughs> like, right. to think that it's going untraced and stuff. But I feel like it's this weird hysteria that we create for ourselves. And this is yeah. just an example. There's so many more examples that kind of go along yeah. with it and, and i think a lot of it's unhealthy too you know creating these of, scenarios no, that of, don't exist all of it's unhealthy like bro like you need to be able to like i could sit here and i understand that we have i don't even know what they're called or what they even represent at this point bro because i think when you get so high up they don't even they don't even follow some of this shit but i mean whether whatever the fuck it is Dark Luciferian, Talmudist, fucking whatever the hell they are. I don't know. <laughs> bow, you know, bow worship, mullick, fucking all of it. Like they, uh, um, like, oh, I forgot where I was going with this. Um, fuck. What was the last thing you just, just trying said? to find balance with all the crazy far out? Oh, oh, the, oh yeah, yeah. The paranoia shit. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I can know that. I know that there's mind control being bombarded on me uh, at a daily. I know that the phone that I'm on right now is, is pumping EMFs on me that I don't want. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I'm not, I don't, I'm not at a level of freak out anymore. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm in a place 
Same thing when I was talking about with trying to do some shit over in, in, in the Middle East. I can't do nothing. Yeah. I have to be practical in my range of yeah. what I can impact. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then you can only impact, you know, as much as you've worked on yourself, which brings it all back to our to this self-work. If you ain't working on yourself, my friends, you are failing horrifically and we do not want you to fail. If you are still suffering every day, if you go to an event and you still come home with the same traumas and the same problems, you still have the self-defeating thoughts, which are like, that's never going to work. Or, yeah, I would love to do this, but I can't get money making. I mean, I can't get money doing that. Or, fuck, I'm going to be late. Or, she's never going to like me. Or, he ain't, get, he ain't ever going to see me that way. Or, da, da, da. These are not fucking real. These are not truths. These are the fear things that we create that elude, become yeah. truths in our fucking head that we need to fucking get rid of those, bro. Because it's a it's the fixed mindset type of situation, bro. And that's where the – like when I first woke the fuck up on some real shit, like 2010-ish, <laughs> 11 or whatever, yeah. like, yeah. I had the paranoia shit. Yeah, so I bad. did too. <laughs> FEMA camps and FEMA coffins and oh King my God. Alfred like, plan and there, all the – There's I know reptilians all, outside of my door. They yeah. know – I got my blinds yeah. shut, like everything. Yeah. I, I was I that was freaking dude. my like, wife was... out, dog. Like I was freaking my wife out for real. <laughs> um, like you, w- I'll tell you this. So when, 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 when Pokemon go came out, it was a huge thing. Woo! Right. But there were, but the conspiracy people went crazy with it. Cause me and my family, we, we got into the Pokemon go. I started like doing Pokemon videos on my page. Like I, we really got into it. It was really fun. And, uh, just to see what that did for like the collective was really interesting though. Seeing people get out and you, we're talking to random strangers. We're like, everybody's in the park. We go to the park and the parks are flooded with people. There's yes. people who are morbidly obese out there walking and losing weight and catching Pokemon. And we're talking and people who are recluse, like making new friends. It was really interesting. If you looked at the positive changes that that game made of getting, using technology to get everybody out and get everybody together. But, like, Word. there was these weird conspiracy things coming out, and a lot of people was commenting on my stuff, like, Truth Seeker, you're supposed to be this in the truth movement and all this, and you're you're giving the government access to look around your house. When you download that app, the government can see in your house, and they have a map of your house, and, like, there was all this weird, crazy stuff. Like, if you, if you got that game, then you gave the government per- permission to access your camera and see inside your house. That was yeah. the conspiracy thing, and so... I got a long comment of just dudes like, I lost all respect for you, True Seeker. You were supposed <laughs> to be this. You are supposed to be that. And I can't believe you would sell it's out. the pedestal to the, shit. Yeah. And, um, and so he said that. And then my wife was like, hold on. Let me go to this page. And she went to the guy's page. And she left a comment with everything that the dude likes. So, he, this, so she went to his Facebook page from YouTube and she said your name is this and this you live in this city you and your girlfriend was here on Friday night enjoying a great meal you have a, do- a little gray dog named Jojo and blah 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 and so hold on you actively have given this information over to these people correct but you're acting like I'm the Illuminati puppet who's deceived because I downloaded a Pokemon game and you've you're correct. like hey I'm going to the bathroom Facebook or I'm going out to eat tonight with the girl at so and so Man, like, come on, bro. Like, you're actively giving, like, we want the attention. Like, we want people to know what we're doing. We want to, it's so weird, man, this, this cry for attention and stuff. But you can see, like, the, the dichotomy that was a dude got mad and blocked me. So, oh, my God, how'd you, how do you know this? I'm going to report you to the police. I'm like, bro, you you gave us the, you got this off your profile. This on your Yo, profile, that dude was bro. heavy on it. Yo, it's, it, but it's, listen, was, man. It was so many people, though. I feel I feel you on that. I get it. and you know what? Again, again, back to understanding. I understand that dude. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like a hundred percent. I could yeah. I could literally honestly say a hundred percent. I know I know I'm where he's you. coming from. I'm with you. I know where yeah. he's coming from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because I mean, like, yeah, I was looking into it. I forgot the name of the company, but they were selling it. Some something to where basically, like, if they needed to triangulate a certain area they would just drop a Pokemon in that area and they have access to everyone's phones that are in that area. So if they're doing data collecting and whatever the fuck, you know what I'm saying? But, but back to the dude. Um, but yeah, that that's a great, that's a great thing that she did that because that's what you, if anyone is using YouTube or you're using a cell phone, like saying, how can you, how can you wear this shirt? 
How can you support this? How can yeah. you? Well, my friend, you're you have paid for a Zionist owned phone that's on a Zionist controlled media platform <laughs> on Facebook. Already, you know what I'm saying? Like, like homie, like, like it's over, bro. Like, you, you, unless if, if you're a person that's literally like, if you're going out there buying Starbucks and Jordan Nikes and and you're yeah. literally like funding the industrial prison com- or prison industrial complex and and you know that's a little bit different. You know, being mindless with your uh with your expenses uh that's a little bit different you know what i'm saying like same thing with food that's why food was pretty simple you know leaning more towards local local mom and pops organic yeah. um grab like you know we got mangoes down here i can go to a neighbor and and literally whether the neighbor knows me or the neighbor doesn't i'm just taking his fucking mangoes you know what i'm saying which is probably fucked up but point is is that you get you you want you don't want to just be running always you know you cannot be he, I guarantee if that dude is ousting you on that, I hope he's not eating at Burger King and he's not <laughs> smoking and drinking and he's not da, 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 all this shit's on point. You know what I'm saying? Sure, so like, sure. But I get it. I get it. Yeah. Wh- I'll tell you what, when else, when it got really deep for me, when I was like, hold on, this, this, I think these people don't bit off too much, much more. They can, they can chew. I, when I, when I put out, I put out an, an EP called the fall of Babylon. And so it was uh like a little seven song EP, just, you know, talking about, you know, the in new world order and money and all that kind of stuff. And, um, and I was doing a lot of interviews. <clears throat> I was transitioning, um, into like this truth or hip hop or whatever. And I started doing a lot of interviews about it. And I was on these weird blog talk shows with these just weird random people. Hey, we're so-and-so man, come on. And we're going to fight the new world order. And I'm like, Hey, what's up? Then my music is, is the, you know what I'm saying? Music for the movement, man. This is what, and so I even, they told me that, uh, what's his name? Uh, Luke Rudowski played some of my music at the showing of we are changed. Like I didn't even know they played some of it. And, but anyway, I was like doing some interviews. And I was talking with this guy. He had a pretty big following and stuff. He was interviewing me. He was like, they did an ad for these crossbows that they were selling. And so we're like, they were selling crossbows. You need, we need to have an armed militia. And it was getting into that stuff, which has gotten big too. And then we're not taking any shots, but this guy was a little bit out there. I was on an interview. He was like, we need an armed militia and we're selling these crossbows and we've done the math. If you can get seven people lined up and get six of your friends to buy these crossbows, and you get in the line, by the time the first person shoots, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, by the time the seventh guy shoots, the first person is reloaded, ready to shoot again. <laughs> and it's a constant onslaught of, of, I was like, man, what the hell am I, what kind of podcast y'all got me on? I got to get off of here, man. I was like, hold on, this is crazy, bro. I got to quit. Dude would call me, trying to invite me to march. We're going to New Orleans. The president's going to be there. We're going to march. I'm like, hell no, nah, I ain't going. <laughs> it sounds fun, but I ain't doing it, man. I'm sorry, bro. Yo, hey, crazy you stuff, know? dog. Yeah, see now that that's what I would call I would call that like misdirected good energy that's been misdirected. What but what about that though? The armed militia? That's a I mean that kind of goes hand in hand with some there's of the a huge, activism stuff. There's a I, huge place for that. No, there's yeah. a huge place for that. Thing is though, that's just a preparation. That's not a proactive thing. That's you know, it's a preparation thing. That's not a that's not an offense situation. Yeah. You know, like that, that's the only, you know, it's, it's valued needed, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But even, even at that point, like if you're strapping up and preparing for the civil war, yeah. well, you're not preparing for war. You're preparing probably to lose. And I'm not being bitter and I'm not being, you know, sourpuss Facetious. about it. Yeah. You're going against a fucking army trained military Advanced technology it, tech shit. You don't like, you know what I'm saying? Even though like if you took America, for example, I don't even know where we at 300, 400 million right now. Something like that. 300 something something million. Right. Okay. Uh, The military, I'm guessing, I don't know, maybe a couple million. You know what I'm saying? Like technically, yeah, we probably could overthrow it in a second, but we don't even know how to do that. Like we can't even, we can't even communicate properly with our fellow brother and sister. (laughs) Like we have a dialogue. That's why I was saying before, like, yo, (laughs) if you're at that level, get off the fucking, get off social media, get off the streets and get back into the books yeah. and get back into figuring, making yourself better and healing yeah. yourself and fixing your yeah. things and all that shit. Cause bro, I mean like, yeah, the militias is, is important, but it's not, you know, Dude, you get, and, and, and there's factions even within them, like with all of everything we've been talking about and we're going to talk about more, but there's factions that are like people, Oh, that's not what I'm about. No, no, no. We, you were promoting this. No, hell no. 
No, right. you know what I'm saying? And like right. some of these people, the, like the whole militia thing and anti-government and who are the tr- true Jews, like it gets into some like uh sovereign citizen and bloodline. It gets in, it starts breaking down into weird sub categories. And uh, right. I was, I'm, I'm down here in Alabama. I was working in Mississippi and I was down there with a bunch of people who were into the armed militia. They've got plans. But these, I found out these jokers was in the Ku Klux Klan. And they're ready for they're ready for they're ready for a damn race war. And I'm like, hold on. They're trying to like tell me what asking me what side I'ma choose. I'm like, man, y'all, y'all lost the damn point. Like, it's crazy. Yeah. Like people people are shot out, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. It gets and too that, crazy. I have to just digress and pull back, you know. Yeah, because I mean at that point you you need to know what's 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 gonna be like again, you gotta know like, hey, guess what? Maybe if there was something that you were going to gain that was huge value, then yeah, maybe stick around. But you already realize that like, because even then, like w- w- at that point, you're dealing with, see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The malicious shit, like I feel needs to just be on a local level. I just don't feel that we're mentally ready. Weapons. Yes, we're ready. We got plenty of guns and ammo and shit. Even even though I know that there's some things that we're losing guns or some shit. There's some shit I know out there. But point is, is that we're not mentally prepared to do that. Most of those people that have guns and shit like that, they have fucking newborn babies. They have they have kids. They're, and and it's it's not just when you're solo, it's different. Then it's like, yeah, I've got my put your shotgun over your shoulder, wear your vest, game over. You know what I'm saying? And then you're out there. But when you got other people involved in your family and you know that you, even though you're an individual, you're ready for combat, you're ready to be tactical, you're ready to go out there and fucking knock some shit. But you know that if you do that, you are bringing down you. fuck. Yeah, bro. <laughs> it's just at the end of the game. SD. That's why, okay, we're ready for civil war. Well, you're either going to get taken away or killed. Because, again, it's just like, it's like the Washington, D.C. scenario. Okay, we win. What do we do? We sh- we murdered the army. We murder our own our own brothers and sisters for for what? Oh, because they were trying to come at us. Well, why were they trying to come at at you? You know what I'm saying? Like, what what is what is the bigger picture? Do you get a lot? Do you get a lot of pushback from people that now that you're talking about this being a little bit more vocal? Because there would be people who was like, "Yeah, we're we're ready for this," and you your music was, you know, our our ammunition and got us ready, like. Have you gotten people like, hey, what are you talking about? You don't, you're not ready to do this or anything. Oh no, not really. No, I I haven't. I mean, and if they're there, hit me up. I'll I'll lay it down for you because, yeah. bro. I mean, it that it's the 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 you know the 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 music is is a form. You know, it's a form of of inspiration. Now, what type of inspiration you get, that's up to you, the interpreter. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Cause like none of my music, none of my music promotes violence. None of it. That's I, and I kind of liken that con- that conversation too. that. There was an interview with a uh, busy bone from bone thugs and harmony. I actually had him on the podcast and I was oh, he was a huge inspiration of mine, but, uh, they were on some stuff like Mo Murder and killing people and and pulling out the shotgun. They was on all this crazy, crazy kind of stuff. And when it was come, when they had problems with label ex- label executives and all of these people taking their money, like Busy Bone from Bone Thugs, he was ready to to kill them. He's ready to give me the gun. Like he's ready to go and handle their business. They're like wait, 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 wait. And he look, he didn't understand. He's like, we've been promoting violence and killing people, and we're ready to to kill somebody if they steal, steal from us. And, and they had to set him down and say, no, we ain't ready to do that. And he got mad. He's like, man, I, let me, I'll take, I'll do the time. Like I'm about that life or whatever. And it's like, we've been rapping about this stuff, but you guys aren't really about it. Um, you know, there's right. a lot of people when, when it comes to, you know, the, the armed militia movement and stuff like that, it gets, it gets kind of weird. Let's move on from that. You know, I, I, I know we, we can keep going down that path, but I want to kind of lighten it up a little bit for me uh, towards here at the, the end of the podcast. Something that we haven't really talked about. I think it does tie into the esoteric stuff. I think it does kind of tie into the government stuff a little bit, too. But uh, and there was some questions in the chat as well. Adam Starcy Bay wanted me to ask you and I wanted to ask you your view or experiences, UFOs, aliens, 
uh, extraterrestrial life. Do you believe in it? Are they friends? Are they foes? Where, where do you stand with your studies and, and belief on, on that? So that is actually forever changing for me um, because as the years go, uh, newer insight comes out. Um, I'm familiar with a lot of the stuff, whether it's, you know, I've mentioned blue avians in some of my lyrics and things like that. Okay. But, um, I just, I don't think it's interplanetary travel, space travel anymore. Um, I feel that it's, uh, dimensionally it's, it's, it's a dimensional situation. It's a phasing or vibration. And again, I'm saying phasing and dimensional limiting a very limiting word to describe what I'm really talking about. Yeah. Um, because once you get out of the world of material, we're dealing with other uh, uh, forms that we can't, again, it's those forms are not in the realm of 3d. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't, I don't write off the whole reptilian thing. You know what I'm saying? I understand it. And that's where I stay with that is I understand it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's, I, 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 I've gone as far as you can go with that. You know what I'm saying? But I feel that what we have been labeling or calling aliens have been very misinterpreted and misrepresented throughout history as well, throughout history as well. Um, And in many cases I can, I feel that, um, that, you know, here's where I'm both. I feel like we're actually the only ones in this realm. You know what I'm saying? Physical um, entities in this realm, or? Uh, y- mm, yeah. Now, that doesn't mean that I don't think that there are actual physical other beings, because I'm actually, I strongly believe that there's a massive, massive civilization and group of other beings, whether they're human hybrids or human whatever, underground in the earth. Yeah. So, um, now, whether we call them angels, aliens, demons, and whatnot, again, I think it's 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 us describing. We we, we might be describing certain. They don't things call based themselves on, that. They don't say, "Hello, I'm an angel," or "Hey, I'm a demon." Correct. They don't. They don't. Yeah. Correct. 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 And um, I feel that their communication with us is so advanced that it's through what we call intuition. Yeah. They Telepathic whatever the whatever the yeah whatever the intuition path highway is they they drive on it to get to us you know what i'm saying um that also could mean there are physical signs that actually do show up and happen that it's almost like you see that movie um uh what movie is it oh my, the the oh it's with matt damon it's with matt damon there's oh the two, my goodness oh I, I sampled that dude the adjustment the, bureau do you just okay dude i sampled that in my song called the knowing everyone go out and listen to it <laughs> I, I, at the very beginning i sampled it it's good stuff okay so boom you then you already know exactly what sure I'm it's the you know elohim so, bro it's the watchers yeah, for sure there you go there you go right so now um there definitely is you know um here's what's interesting is that these other beings that do darker stuff um demonic things I feel that it's not them choosing to be evil. It's them just doing what they know that works for them. So it's almost like, hey! Bro, that's it. That's what this book is, dog. This is just what you said. You just summed it up. They're just doing what Wait, they were. Fuck. They're doing what they were created to do. Correct. And, and a great analogy that I could use is like a crocodile. OK, so like when we see a baby, a, a, a little young elk or deer or whatever the fuck goes up to the water, she's drinking. Here comes the croc. The croc comes. This monstrous thing, these teeth, these scary things comes in, grabs this fucking creature, swirls it underground. It's like this whole traumatizing, horrific display of this animal being obliterated. However, and we always were like, oh, no, the cute little baby, the baby, the baby, the baby. Here's what's interesting. We don't – what is to say that that crocodile almost like just escaped some poachers, lost a leg. She's protecting her young. She's been starving. She's only been – you know, she's, she's, she's lost one of her – one of her young had died because she hasn't, hasn't had any food. Finally, this river comes up. This one little baby is there, and it's her last and only chance and opportunity 
for her to fucking make that move and fucking get that little creature at that point. You know what I'm saying? It's perspective. It's perspective. Yeah. We're now, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's why I loved, um, the planet of the apes movie, the newer, the newer, the one of the newer ones, um, where basically you usually you think planet of the apes, like the apes are the bad guys, but this, the first yeah. one, they showed how Caesar got, you know, he had, he legit had a reason mm-hmm. to, you understood his, his emotional shit to, to actually despise the humans and what they're doing to him. Instead of just, if you first meet him, he's this angry ape and he hates humans. All right, well, fuck him. Let's kill him. Yo, what's, what's the backstory that made him even like that in the first place? So word. Yeah, dude, that's so deep. And then when you go a little bit deeper into it, I mean, that's just on the, like, you know what I'm saying? The physical plane. Uh, if you go into like a microscopic level as well, and the, these, this war and these crocodiles and antelope that are on our skin and germs right. and, and viruses that are fighting this holy war over the promised land, which is your body, uh, to make yes. you sick or to c- pollute the land even. Um, it is interesting to see that with a, you know what I'm saying, with a microscope. And so it's like, I kind of liken that to the, the, the spiritual realm as well. So to be able to see the, this, this war that's taking place on our skin and in our bodies and our blood cells and highways and all this stuff inside of us, like to see that you need a, a trained eye or a trained lens. And that lens is a, uh, a certain, you know what I'm saying, a microscopic lens to be able to see these right, microscopic right. organisms. Spiritually, I really believe that those type of entities are around sucking off of our auric field and influencing us. You said that they're able to, to send thought forms and patterns and ideas and, and, uh, and inhabit people and influence people as well. And, uh, uh, it takes a trained eye to see those as well. And I think that trained eye. Yeah, is the, because if you're, you're someone, again, eye. if you're someone that is not aware of that, you aren't, if you're someone that's not aware of that, you're not working on yourself. You're not, you don't have self-awareness. They, you're a target. They don't want, like, they don't, they don't want a thinker. They don't want someone who, who deeply loves yeah. themselves. They don't want someone that is a person of service. This is huge. Cause this now ties into the tenant's, to the tenets of Satanism, which is a self-serving prophecy. And these, these things, they serve themselves. So, you know, it, it, it's, this is this, it's a self-serving situation where, where that's what, that's how they thrive and they get on, on their shit. Yeah, bro. Think about it. We had, we didn't know nothing about the micro, the microbial world. We knew nothing about it. Invent a fucking microscope. Okay. Boom. Now we have access through our technology into a whole new mini galaxy. We are still working on the technology in, to see the spiritual when really we are the fucking technology for the spiritual. You know what I'm saying? Like we are the lens into that. Like it, everything is all, and even Helena uh, Blavatsky, she even mentioned something about like, there is an inseparable ray that connects you to the Godhead or the, you know, the high mind, whatever it is. And that same ray is the same ray that you use to put light on your traumas and your, your child, your childhood issues. Cause when people run around with a childhood trauma, um, they're, you know, uh, they, 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 they have these impulses and these, uh, these compulsions and these bad behaviors. And they don't realize that like, yo, your, 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 your trauma, you think is some big, scary, dark monster. As soon as you put the fucking spotlight on it, you realize it's just a little baby you who's terrified. Yep. And then you're, you're able to then approach that scary fear very differently. You approach it lovingly. You appro- approach it understanding with compassion and you carry that healing with you. So your, your, your scar, your trauma, your damage literally becomes a part of who the fuck you are. That's, that's shadow work. Yep. It's good, man. Um, you got time for for one more phone call before we end this? Roll it out. Bro, there's a, there's an actor that you always remind me of, bro. Can I it's it's a guy heard, named, all right, wait, wait, wait. I've heard over the years, I've heard Vin Diesel. Okay. I've been hearing Vin little, Diesel little bit, since yeah. since when Pitch Black came out in like nineteen ninety eight or some shit. And then uh this other dude I heard, Mark Strong. Mark that's him. I got it pulled up right here. Mark <laughs> Strong from uh he was the uh villain on uh 
Uh, Sherlock Holmes is what I remember. Bro, that's you, bro. <laughs> Look just like him. <laughs> At least you guessed it, man. That's good stuff. <laughs> it wasn't just out there pitching in the dark. We got one more phone call, man. Let's jump to this last call. We got a caller from the uh, 319 area code. Caller, you're live with True Seeker and Steve Grant. Who we speaking with? Yo, what's good? This is Dennis Ford. Um, long time listener, first time caller. I want to give you a shout out for that because I listen to this all the time, my brother. Let me tell you. Um, real quick. Uh, Ford. Holy I had a, shit. I had a couple questions. Yeah, what? Yeah, I've been hearing some shit, Steve. I didn't know you was coming back the way you came, you know, so it's good to have you back in rotation and whatnot. So, um, you know, we need to get up together eventually. And, um, you know, shout out to all the people that keep putting your music out there. Same with Truth Seeker and all the people that make the music out there. The people, you know, you guys were just talking about how uh, other world entities and stuff just do what they're made to do. And there's certain people on social media that all they do is promote music or activism and stuff. So... Shout out to all those people. There's a bunch I can, I can run through, but uh, oh, yeah. yo, yeah. binary watcher is one for sure. Hell yeah! Yo, shout you know out what I mean? To binary, bro, Stu, that's my homie. Yeah, yeah. Real I'm talk. sure he's watching this or will yeah. watch it. Yeah. If any show that I'm going to listen to, I'm going to check this one out. You guys been killing it. But there were just a couple things that I wanted to get you guys thoughts on. Um, with technology, you guys were going into that a little bit, but I'm just I'm interested in how you feel about like the upcoming AI technology things that. Um, you know, aliens been talking about Musk and all that. And like, what do you, what do you really perceive coming in the future? Is it something, um, cause I, I've been studying it a lot. When I come back to doing podcasts and stuff, this is something I'm trying to go, I'm going to try to focus on this a lot more. Uh, we're getting people on and getting their views on it because you know, the whole hive mind thing, I think that's like the Google and the social media and them data mining and g- gathering information. So eventually, uh, you know, when you go to Google or you go to a search engine, you type in something, it's going to pop up there's going to be a drop bar that's going to pop up of questions that have been asked prior to what you're asking. So that's the whole thing. I just want to get you guys feeling that. Like, where do you think the AI is really going? Or do you think, you know, that's just uh, being paranoid to think that Google and Facebook and social media is gathering data to, you know, have this AI that's going to come up and be all knowing. And, you know, like, how do you feel about that? I just want to get your your perception on that. All right, brother. Thanks for the call. Go ahead, Steve. Yeah. So like, uh, Dennis Ford, bro. I fuck with you, homie. All right. So, uh, the, yeah, I mean, in, in, uh, technology is also known as the eye of Satan. You know what I'm saying? Because that's how they're everywhere. You know, um, you already know they created a, a, a complete spyware program, uh, which happens to be called Google and Facebook. And, you know, Derek, you were talking about earlier how, you know, it's people willingly give their private information away. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like we now have access to what big brother and the government used to have against us. Now, you know, we, I can literally go to an Instagram page, find out, go to someone's story, see where they were at, find that location, look up the hashtags, find that they were there, see what car they were like, bro. I, you, it, that's just it. I mean, look so, at, I'm going to just interject this and maybe you can speak yeah. on it. Look what happened with XXX Tentacion. He's sharing his Instagram story where he's at. These dudes show up to rob and end up killing the Correct. guy. He's giving his Correct. coordinates. Hey, we here. We're going to go here, get this new bike. Correct. And they show up and kill him. Like random people trying right. to rob him. Correct. Like, that's crazy. And that's right. And, you know, it's it's interesting because you now have these you have these disruptor technologies, which is, you know, um, like, uh, you know, like Facebook creates zero content. Yet they're they're worth billions yeah um you know airbnb they don't own a single home or property okay um uber Uber. another great one uber don't own no fucking car bro these are these are disruptor technologies this is this is where the type of shit we're going but 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 to the what dennis is is talking about like like okay uh, on the on the most massive level i feel that whatever beings or group or civilization or whatever it is or you know or maybe it's multiple groups whatever it is whatever it is i feel that they they worship ai that, that in, in my in my research of where i've gotten to the to, to where I've, I've to the top of things like they 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 have their own ai that they worship that is actually outside of their own their own like they that's what they that's what they idolize so I feel that it's actually gone beyond 
their control. And now they're almost slaves to their own AI God. And in order to survive that, they're using us as sustenance and control and energy sucking, et cetera. Now, the, the, the basic AI foundation, uh, AI is already happening at, at a crazy level. Um, you already have, there's, um, there's an Instagram influencers, is there's Instagram influencers that aren't even real, that yeah. are, what's her name? Oh, what's her name? I know you're talking about. Li- little, little Michaela. Little, if you look up L-I-L-M-I-Q- uh, U-E-L-A, I think. Uh, you're talking about, um, you talking about uh, Lil, Lil Tay? No, 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 Oh, God, I feel bad for that poor girl. <laughs> for um, sure. No, nah, but, but, but uh, this, this girl, along with, um, there's another, there's an anime hologram that, that performs in, I think, Tokyo, where everybody goes into the, into the, into the event space, and they have these fucking oh, laser yeah. glow sticks. Second Life, too. Second Life is really big. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I had people I had I had people who were real big in that like begging me to come do concerts in Second Life. Like we can get all these right. people to come come to the rap stage in this world right. we created. There's a lot of there's Bro. a crowd there. They but wanted there's... me to create a character go there and rap on stage in Second Life. <laughs> it was crazy. Maybe you should have done it. Bro. I might have I should have. I got a song called Second Life. I wanted to try to market it to the to the people. <laughs> but <laughs> But uh, you'd be surprised. You'd probably get a lot of, uh, of extra new followers. But um, no, but the thing is, is that, uh, yeah, the you have this rise and you have one side is people's people's understanding of, of technology and where we want it to go and us being in control of it. Then you have this singularity technocratic rise and you have this point that it's going to reach where none of us are going to be in control because the AI of, well, I'm not saying this is going to happen, but this is what they're from what I've gathered. This is what their agenda and foresight is, whatever Um, that the AI will be running its course just the way it's supposed to. And 5g is just the very, very beginning. Like 5g ain't even the the biggest of the, of of the serious issue of what that AI foundation is going to be. That's what all those grids and towers and everything and structures are getting ready for they sell it to us as faster internet, faster speed, yada, yada, yada. What it's yeah. really is we are setting up a foundation of our AI grid. That's going to be running our entire city. Bro, it's going to be like this. Basically it'll be like this to the point where you will not need a phone to operate AI. You will basically be able to walk outside your house. There will be a camera that will be able to scan uh, your bio signature the gate, how you walk, the gate, like your walking gate, um, your minerals, your blood work, everything through a scan. Uh-oh. Steve, we lost you, bro. You there? Scan. Are okay. you there? I lost you. My bad, my bad. Okay. You're going to have – am I still there? All right. Yeah, yeah. You're going to be able – yeah, it's going to already have all of your data because it's been data mining and data collecting. So it knows – it literally knows everybody. You will not have a phone on you. You will not have any technology on you. You will literally be able to speak out loud and say, I need an Uber. The camera is going to voice register your shit. Already has all of your data mined. It already has your account, your user shit, your credit card, your bank account, everything. It's going to send the fucking signal to the Uber motherfucker. He's going to come get you. You're going to get in the car. You won't have to fucking touch and do nothing. Now, this is for the the service level of it what it's really going to provide which i think is already in place through other devices is that they're they're able to send out these waves that completely stop higher levels of consciousness and that is the final gridlock that they wish they had right now but i feel that because of the internet and because other truth speakers throughout history have left notes and clues for us to pick up on that they didn't get a chance to lock that type of control down just yet. And we're actually able to not have that as a full, as, as, as an end game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's still in, that's still in, in play. We still have that chance, but the AI already, it already has everything. Like the AI is all this data mining and collecting is a preparation. 
like Minority Report wasn't too far from the from from from, from getting it right. You literally will be able to foresee uh, 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 murders, but not even murders. You'll be able to display an un. They will be able to unravel everything that you want, which is going to keep you as a passive consumer citizen who doesn't think much, That's but you just you follow want, what you're supposed to do. That's what it's they want. Give you I mean, all those things. They they want consumers. Like a, if America is a corporation, they want us to continue buying. Like you don't want someone just to buy from you one time. You want to, them to keep coming to you over and over and over again. So they're like setting up the game in the way that this whole thing is structured to where like we rely on them. So I know you said that AI is their god. I feel like they are they 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 want to play god. Like they want to be God and create life and and live forever. Like all of these technologies that are coming in and taking the blood of young kids and putting it in their body and all types of really demonic stuff that the elite are doing. The people who have the money to do this stuff. Um, It's real crazy. But um, like it's weird, though, because we're having this conversation like we're using we're using technology right now. We, We, you know, again, the kid who's posting everything that he wants to do on Facebook, but he's mad that his pr- privacy is being invaded. Like there's pros and cons. Are you looking at the worst case scenario? Maybe with that, well, what you said, or is that, is that best case scenario? Like, is that where we're headed? Does it become worst case scenario? Like the matrix Neo wakes up and unplugs and he's in the damn yeah, that, hollow tropic, crazy, you know, machine, machine realm. Yeah. They want us, they want us droned out. They want not, not the robot drone. They want us, they want to eventually, this is where the eugenics program starts to slide in a little bit because genetically they want us to reproduce um, lower thinking uh, uh, humans. You know, they don't, they don't want, they don't want us to be, cause here's the thing. Here's the thing is that we, we are AI like, but minus the artificial minus the artificial. Okay. Same thing. Intelligence. Everything is conscious and everything in this world of the material world with the elements of it, alchemically speaking, everything has the components that create the realm in this world and it's all conscious. So we take those elements and we create an AI. It's really just I intelligence. It's really not artificial. Collective. It's actually used from the real shit that we've that we've used, because even when you look into phones and computers like, bro, like we are fucking technology, bro. Like if you go into a computer on the motherboard, they need uh, they need a fucking they need the gold. They need the gold shit there for the conductor and they need um, they use Vogel cut quartz crystals, which which uh, uh, collects information like. Well, what the fuck? We're 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 light beings, so we operate on on light frequencies. Our pineal gland, our pineal gland is a fucking uh, uh, is like a quartz crystal. We have crystals in in our mind. Wow. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. the same exact shit. We have the same technology. So what's going on is that there is this idea of again, this is just how I think it. There is this idea of fusing fusing us with technology, which personally I think we're already there. We're already there. We're like. People already have the virtual thing that you would normally see in movies. Like we're we're, we're there, bro. It's yeah, it's right. it's here. Oh, what do you have? You have it? Well, I got the uh, the Samsung VR thing. I've got that right. But I'm I'm talking about the shit where like um, which like, is fun. Uh, you, uh, the movie Upgrade. You see the movie Upgrade? <laughs> not that I haven't. I haven't. Woo! Dennis well, Ford. Me... Oh, I don't know if Dennis Ford's not on the phone. But if you whatever, oh, he's Dennis still Ford, he's, he's listening. listening. He's listening. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll bring him back uh, in in a minute. Um. But I mean, just to cut, tie some of this stuff together a little bit and kind of go a little bit deeper, you're mentioning this this crystal technology and crystals. My mind goes to everything you're saying about this life energy and life force that they want to pull out of us and extract out of us for energy and for power. You mentioned crystal. My mind immediately goes to the new Netflix series, The Dark Crystal, which was the uh, they were extracting the essence, the life force out of these little uh hominid creatures the skexies they when they would they would eat they would drink their uh life force which was their essence which in fact would be 
to some conspiracy theorists maybe who would call adrenochrome they would they would drink their their life force and their essence totally. through to power the dark crystal right because now dude and you already know you already know every movie it repeats the same theme yeah you like it's it doesn't matter like Monsters Inc. is another great comparison because the, the whole goal of their energy supply is the fucking trauma and fear of children. It's the, to scare children. To, to be, it's, it's eating children. Now listen, let, you know? okay, let, let me throw this in there because you've already mentioned Adjustment Bureau. You've, we've talked about the Dark Crystal. <laughs> We're talking about this other one, the Monsters Inc. Is somebody conscious writing this or is this the global brain? Is this what we call God? Is this the collective is it just coming out or are the are these people do they know about the dark arts do they know about the book of enoch do they know about the lost clementine homilies do they know all of this stuff or is it just collectively coming out as a people what do you it's think it's a mix I, I would say it's a mix it's a mix definitely a mix i wouldn't say any any like absolute because there's movie directors that don't know shit yeah. and they're only told what to put in their movies like put you know or, or they're told take this out of your film well, who who said that? Oh, someone from the higher up. Yeah, shut up. You don't fucking say nothing. You know, it's a different than a Stanley Kubrick type of person who was allowed to do things because of his involvement with the moon landing and whatnot. But uh, the thing is, is that there's also with this osmosis or this subconscious pickup where that's why sometimes the people that create a logo or marketing design, they actually create a design that they think is brand new to them, but they've already been seeing that design growing up over and over and over again on all of our companies and other corporations and other businesses. And there you go. There's a snake on the staff, right? There. So <laughs> there, there's all types. There you go. So there, there you go. It could be all types of shit, there's, you know? Yeah. Um, but again, like that, like now, but to, but to tie it back, you know, I'm actually, here's my big question mark. Like, Bro, the nanotech and the smart dust, like, like to this day, like we really don't know what's being sprayed all over our world, getting into everything. Like we know at some level, but we really don't know. Like that's the craziest. That's the, if you want to get back into the paranoia mind state, like any single one of these paths that we go down, it ends up, we don't fully know. We don't, we only, we're only given pieces we're only given pieces that are out there that are that, that's what's left. We're stuck with the pieces that's what's left. That's why, like, you know, um, like, that's why the thing is, like, uh, um, like with, uh, what was it? Um, yeah, flat, like Flat Earth. Uh, it's not even Flat Earth. It's the research and the content that revolves around Flat Earth. And I'm, I'm talking about legit Flat Earth theory. I'm not talking about the noise that's yeah. out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if yeah. you want to get real on some shit, like, legit like there, there's definitely there's definitely something fucking going on and definitely massive deceit oh, yeah. and massive fucking manipulation massive uh, for sure. with the heliocentric model and everything if, else if, 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 if only that if if one thing that it proves is that nasa's lying to us like it's something's going on you know yeah i mean and then when you look at if you actually go through nasa's patches bro it's some of the most darkest occult shit that's oh, out yeah. there for sure blatant with wizards and dark dragons and shit like yeah. right coming right up a new over. day like what is it the dawn of a new day like there's so many of that so much of that symbolism in the new world order there's yeah. you know even with the word nasa which is the most interesting thing coming from the hebrew which means to deceive which is really boom. interesting you know boom control yeah. the well, narrative I mean, type deal it's again bro it's again it's like th- this is this is the norm for them but for us we need to just not be freaked out about it at first. Yes. Freak out. Cause that's like fucking, it's crazy shit. But the point I'm trying to say is f- hurry up and finish your freak out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like whoever it is, it's going through it, hurry up and get up, get your freak out over with and get to the point where you're grounded, you're balanced and you're centered with what you need to be doing. Your purpose, master your fucking skills, because that's the other thing. People have great knowledge and they have great, great messages, but their delivery is trash yeah. because they didn't work on it. 
And literally, that's all you got to do. It's and they don't care. <laughs> a lot of them don't care. Right. But you have to have you have to develop that empathy and putting yourself in those other people's shoes. Like what you were saying, as far as like I can see it from your perspective. So because of that, I'm going to show empathy because I know right. why you're triggered i know why you don't like me i know why you don't believe this because you know what i'm saying and so that's right. a huge part of it man right because and then that leads leads right back into self-mastery which is the fucking pinnacle of real revolution that that's just it bro yeah. because you're not affected or phased by what they're doing to us you're aware of it you acknowledge it you could probably teach and educate someone else about it but that's not your job to handle that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's yeah. just not, it's not our job, bro. It really isn't. I've, I've been in this shit for like 10 years. I, I could, I'll legit say a decade under my belt, yeah, yeah. you know? And like, I still research. I still learn more shit. I still study. I still like, it just never stops, bro. It just never, it never stops. And that's why we're going to see some shit with, with, with what Dennis was saying. We're going to see some shit. Because they're again, they they only give us, they give the public what they've already used and abused for years already. Yeah. So by the time we get our AI, like forget about it. <laughs> it's leftovers. Like, it's yeah. Sloppy it's, seconds. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Hundred percent. Um, the, the weird thing though is like again, we're we're like, you know, we're using some of this stuff. We we enjoy it. We like new technology. We we like it. It's some new. It's like next level you know and uh and it's gonna continue to get i remember when i was a little kid like i i just would fathom what if like i could go to my tv and anything that i wanted to watch would be on like that just seems so far out like in dreamland but you know right. 20 years later i can literally watch any episode of the ninja turtles that i want right now you know <laughs> like something that was just so far out it's like right, the, the right. simpsons so think about 38 this. seasons episodes like i could watch anyone like <laughs> this man, you know did you watch all them fucking Hell things bro no there's too many <laughs> yo here's what's crazy right think about this like the the, the new the neo human the new human that's coming right like think about it like i'm i'm 37 so, born in 82, uh, Nintendo came out in 86, I believe, okay? So, I was four years old. So, I'm four-year-old human, watching and observing and comprehending 8-bit graphics, Mario jumping, brown, 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 and I'm comprehending it, and I'm also immersed in it. I'm, like, hypnotized by it. But I'm able to comprehend it and, and study it and, and play it, right? Bro, we're in the year 20. We're going into 2020, bro. The four-year-old of today is processing <laughs> Building websites PS and stuff, cuz. Bro. <laughs> they, but they're able to. Put marketers. They're, they're Facebook marketers, they're, dude. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> the, uh, no, but the, the Entrepreneurs. The is, is like, they're, uh, yeah, they're going to be like, you'll, they'll be your boss because like. Yeah. They're able to. They're comprehending it, though. So yeah. they're they're comprehending these these, these new graphics. Well, the weird these, thing these was that, like, even you go back to Mario and how easy and how eight bit that was. Our parents couldn't play that shit. They kept correct. falling into the first hole. They could never Be get past the first thing. The parents couldn't get it, even though they tried. Because their fucking imagination, which is our fucking one of our biggest faculties of our fucking higher mental abilities that we have which is our childlike imagination. And when I say childlike, like that doesn't mean age. Like, I don't want that. You know, that means it's like awe and powers. wonder. It's like an awe and wonder. And like, yeah. And you can be, able be, to be childlike, taught. able to yeah, be taught, yeah. learn new things. You can be childlike in your adulthood. And actually we need more childlike in our adulthood. I'm not talking about fucking around and playing around and doing pranks and immaturity. I'm talking about mature, childlike, imaginative, uh, 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 mental faculties that we get to access that our parents and today's parents have just shoo shooed away to the side. And, you know, I'm super grateful and thankful that I'm not a person that has discarded it. You know, like, and I still be, you read know what? Books. It's because of the technology though. It's because of the video games. It's because of the stimulant and the, the different way of, uh, I mean, even the, they say with the kids who play video games, they, you know, our parents are like, get off the video games, get outside and play in the yard. Like, like problem solving skills for p kids who played video games were like right. able to s s uh, like solve 
problems and work together. People on the internet and kids getting together and so and kids who are socially awkward. They have this like it. it there's a lot of positive stuff that we got from technology as well to get yeah. to where we are today. But yeah. is is yeah. it just that fear of like what's coming? Well, I mean, well, because well, I mean, what, it, it, it used to be. It used to be. Like you said, like you said, it used to be, you know, that's rotting your brain. Get you're sitting, you're sitting too close to the TV. You know, now we got Oculus head, uh, Facebook. Okay, the phone and, is literally that close to your your you, eyes. Yeah, bro. Yeah. I mean, you know what I'm saying. And yeah. and here's the biggest one. Here's the fucking huge kicker. I don't know. I think it was maybe a month ago. I could be off. Doesn't matter. It was very recent. Some kid fucking made like. Three or six, I think it was six million dollars by being the best Fortnite video game player in the world. Is that Ninja or somebody else? I, I don't fucking know. There's so know. many of but, them, though. No, the, the weird thing is, even with that saying, there's random kids. Like, that's the top guy, Ninja. There's random kids making hundreds of thousands, like teenagers. Oh, 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 that, oh, oh okay. Yeah, yeah. That Ninja. That Ninja. Got you. Got you. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you. Got you. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, the Fortnite um, player. Uh, yeah, no, I mean, random look, people that you've never heard of that has a million subscribers, a 16 correct. year old, a 14 year correct. old who like, I don't, it's a crazy killing like, it the doors on their, on their up. switch account, yeah. you know, killing it on their switch account, killing it on their Instagram using Now Here's the thing. Like, you know, you said you mentioned it's got this, it's got that, but we still use it, you know, but remember, and just for anyone listening, like we, we choose that. We totally choose that. Like you don't have to use your phone and use yeah. the internet and use computers and use all these things and this and that. But we are, you know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm a zenial, I believe uh, I'm a zenial, which is like, I think the last cutoff between, you know, playing outside real life with, you know, video game tech world okay, kind of a situation. Um, uh, but, uh, I'm, and like, I'm, I'm going to, I'm digressing a little bit, but I, I want to bring a point, which is again, these kids are having access to adult stuff never before in history. So yeah. six, seven, eight, nine year olds easily have access to porn. Oh yeah. Easy. Yeah. And, and two, two clicks. Like bro, not just it. regular. No, no. So even, I mean, deep, like crazy porn. And then what they're finding now because of that. Kids are having sex before they're kissing. Kids are having yeah, sex yeah. before they're making out. Yes. Like it's because because sex, as you know, which is a super sacred energy source and power source for all of us, um, is totally polluted. Fucking uh, uh, being totally abused. It's weaponized. We literally have weaponized sex in our in our society. And you know, there's six, seven, eight, nine year olds that have access to this shit. And like you said. Like, okay, here's what's funny, right? I, I come from the days, maybe you do too. I come from the days when Cinemax was like <laughs> mushy, staticky, and you had to wait, you know, to see something. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. That, that's where the fuck we come Skinemax. from. Skinemax. <laughs> now, now, what's funny is that now, or I guess maybe it's not funny, but uh, these kids now have access. They don't have access to soft, to soft core porn yeah. they have access right into the the most biggest perverted pornographic shit immediately yeah and they get desensitized from it yeah so therefore exactly. it becomes a nothing they don't want to kiss they want to go straight to sex you know straight to it yeah and That's there's it. app and even now so even with that these apps now like are taking away courting hey my name's so-and-so you look good can i take you on a date it's like let me just pull out this app swipe left if you want to have sex with me swipe yeah. right if you don't or whatever I've, you know, and uh, and it's taking that away. Like that's removing. You're talking about this new human, like that new humans being formed because that's their standard. They don't know Correct. about courting. They don't know about getting rejected from right. you know the the hot right. girl at school that you act you asked out and she turned you down because you know you shaved your head and she told you that she'll she'll date you <laughs> when you grew your hair hair back out. Like I had a girl tell me that. Like I, you know when when your hair grows back, well then maybe right. it's like. They don't know that. They just swipe left, swipe right. Like it's it's changing it's, their genetic makeup and their mind and the the way that the the, the brain interacts yeah, with sex. social interaction, sex, everything. Likes your your likes and your self worth is is dependent upon your your Twitter followers or or Instagram likes. 
And if you don't have any, then you don't have no self-worth. You don't have no, n- n- nobody likes your statuses. No, nobody likes you. Right. And, then, and, and now they're throttling us. And, and you know, it's deep for them because it messes with us and we're, we're adults and it messes with us. Oh, damn. I put that post out and I got, I reached seven people. You know, I took my, I, right. spent, set, I spent $600 on this video and a hundred people seeing it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, right. what's, what's going on? Um, right. But that's how they're programmed, like out of the womb, because this is, yeah. we give them phones. Hey, that's their babysitter. You know, when we used to get off of school, we'd watch Steve Urkel, Family Matters, Full House. Like those were our daily shows, maybe some cartoons, Ninja Turtles. We get home, we watch it, we catch it right at 3, 30, 4 o'clock, comes on every day. The kids, they, they get home, they pull out the phone, and they have their daily shows that they watch. And it, I mean, not just, I mean, all day. Right. They're watching their they shows. Wake up, their they, they wake up to it, and they go to sleep with it. And parents, parents don't want to be the bad parent. They don't want to be the bad mom or the bad dad in, in the eyes of their, of their kid by taking it away from them or saying they can't use it and whatever the fuck. But here's the thing, man. Like, I've done tests on phones and iPads, and I've seen results. It's the, the, the EMFs are pumping off of these devices, especially when, when like YouTube or one of the bigger apps are in use. Massive uh, um, EMFs are coming off of that. And, you know, like, I, I, it, it's so bad that, like, my friend's dog was laying on the couch and the, and the dog's head was resting on her phone. And, like, she noticed it and she was like, oh, yo, Steve, can you go grab the phone and take it away from the, so the dog doesn't lay on it? Like, this is how we're supposed to be thinking. Like, we cannot take this technology for granted. You know what I'm saying? Because that's the other thing. We're not using the technology we're supposed to be using, which is supposed to be clean, free. You know what I'm saying? Oh, There's yeah. not supposed I to be care. EMF uh, EMF leaking yeah. out of this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's not, they, they, they've done it quick, fast, and cheap. Even though it's it like looks expensive, food. it looks high tech. Trust me. They whipped that shit up like it was nothing. And like, you know, this, this, this ties all back into that, to that AI shit. Because eventually, if you have kids that don't think for themselves anymore – and they're only thinking to do to, their behavior is based on how do I make other people like me? That message is saying, I'm not loved. I don't belong. How yeah. do I, how do I get love? How do I feel like I belong? Oh, do this. Oh, put a fucking, uh, three, uh, uh, fucking firework in a, in a, in a frog's mouth. And then you guys will like me. Okay. I'll do that. Wow. Oh, you want me to go jump this kid and punch him in the face for you? So you'll like me? Okay, I'll do that. That's- I'm lucky. I'm lucky I didn't have the internet when I was a kid, bro. Like, I me got too. in so Woo! much trouble. Like, I, I'd probably be dead or in jail, like, if I had the internet. Literally. Right. right. It's brutal. Yeah. It's brutal, bro. It's brutal. I'm, I'm thankful that I'm at fucking uh, adult brain with this shit, bro. Because <laughs> Now we I mean, got honestly, kids coming like, up it's... in this, though. <laughs> so they got to try to help them <laughs> navigate this stuff. Dude, let's get a final thought from uh, from Dennis Ford, bro. He's still on. Dennis, man, where you at with all this? Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm learning a lot of things here tonight, but one thing I learned is that me and Steve Grant were born in the same year. I didn't know that, Steve. I had no idea. <laughs> Woo! June. Yeah, June 30th, bro. June 30th. Yeah. yeah, I was born in September. September 12th, matter of fact. So, yeah. Damn, Anyways, uh, yeah, the whole... I I had that comment, and then I had another question for both you guys. I just wanted to know, is there like a track or something you guys are in collaboration with is there anything going on with that you know yo i'm super down for that i gotta see what the deal is you know what i'm saying because yeah. uh i've taken a very interesting different career path for myself and it's actually moved me away from the studio however so my access really? to the studio isn't as accessible so i would have to i'd have to actually arrange that uh for me to go do that in a, in a different area but yeah, I'm super down and I got for that shit. I'm always about making real ass music with real motherfuckers. You already know, bro. So like, and, and well, it was funny that we, we don't. One of the things we started off with that uh, was uh, when he sent uh, he sent me a uh, truth seeker sent me a message about yo, you down, you down, you, you you're trying to get on the interview, and I was like, yeah. And I looked up and I seen that he already messaged me five years ago about getting on a track and I didn't even see the fucking message, bro. 
So I don't see the I don't see the message anymore. I probably I probably deleted it out of like let me let him. You know, I, it, like, I don't see it on man, my end, but it was definitely in like what 2014 or something, right? <laughs> yeah. That's real, spot. right? But that goes back to the whole that goes back to the whole pedestal thing of like people that listen to you guys' music. It, I, I I get what Steve was saying, you know what I mean? Like he'll meet people in public and be like, "Yo, it's it's Steve Grant that I'm talking to," and and et cetera, et cetera. But you know, it's important what you guys do. So when it comes to music, again, that's just what you guys do. Not everybody's capable of doing that. So, you know, if you guys can collaborate on something, you know, just a track out of nowhere, that would really be something we've never really seen. Um, Yeah, it would be interesting. It would be a different twist on everything you guys have been talking about here tonight. The other thing, too, about the AI AI that I left out was the whole Mark of the Beast shit, and Steve was touching on that, too, is eventually, I don't think you'll have a phone. I think it'll be some kind of uh, technology where it'll be inside of us, but that's going down that route, that road that a lot of people don't want to touch, but it could be that, you know what I mean? It could be something, um, I see articles all the time where they, they're inventing, uh, smaller and smaller microchips and, and things that can be implanted that you probably wouldn't even know was inside of you, the yo. nanotech and, and all yo. that shit. So that could be part yo. of it. That's I'll all, you, you know, right now, yo, you, hella, hella on point with that, Dennis. Um, there's a guy, if anyone's listening and you want some fucking shit to fucking smash you in the brain heavy, um, there's a guy named right. Harold uh, Harold Kotzvela, I believe. Harold Kotzvela. Um, this dude, Dennis, if, you, if, 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 uh, if this name is new to you, you absolutely right. must look up this man's work. He discusses exactly like nanotech demonic beings that override our circuitry, but like in a way that is fashionably intelligent and not just blurting out like that's what's happening. He actually like goes in yeah, depth into they're gonna his market research, it. into his studies, into how he's actually forming these ideas and things like that. Yeah, they're, and dude, they're gonna, like I'm just, that yeah. his name is Harold Kotz Velas, uh, Harold K A U T Z uh, V A L L A. I think it's like that. Something like that. I was going to say that sounds familiar, but also I think with technology and the way it is marketable, the the commerce, I think they're going to market it to us where we actually need it and we can't survive without it. But also there was another uh, point that I wanted to touch on real quick before we, you know, I get out of here myself. Uh, the whole, the whole movement, you know, back when we were doing things in 2011 and 2012, Steve, you know what I'm talking about. You know, everybody was gun ho. Everybody was on the front line and everybody was like, Hey, we don't all have to agree with each other but you know we can respect each other now fast forward to almost 2020 it's like you have to pass an initiation to be accepted you you either have to be a flat earther or you got to be a vegan or you got to (laughs) be in some kind of clique or be clicked up with somebody for somebody to be like all right this guy's legit you know but back then it wasn't about that it was like oh you know that 9-11 was bullshit all right yeah we agree on that we don't agree (laughs) on other shit we know gmos are bad you know and that shit is happening right now so right it's just, it blows my mind, you know, like, I don't understand where it went from, we all get along, we don't have to like each other, we don't have, we don't even have to be friends on social media, but now it's like you have to go through this process where people be like, all right, this dude's legit, you know what I mean, he knows what he's talking about, and even young kids, I ran into a kid, um, wasn't even 20 years old, and he was running off all this shit, and I was like, yo, I'm proud of you, you know, I really am, I'm, I'm proud that the youth knows about things that are going on in the world that they wouldn't necessarily know unless they were actually researching but I'm trying to let him know. I'm like, you're jumping into like the, the sharks then when it comes to the truth movement. Cause you can't even really call it that anymore. You have to call it something else. Correct. But back then in 2012, yeah, we were all fighting together. We were all united regardless of race, creed, religion, whatever. We all knew what we had to do, but now it's just some weird shit. You know, somebody told me I was the laughing stock of the truth movement. And I was like, Oh, the truth movement that, you know, you have to prove yourself and, Work up the like everybody has to get their rank. You know what I mean? You gotta have right. your rank on your shirt for people to be like, Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that, we though. believe you. It's clout with the truth movement. Yeah. Like, can, like who who can who <laughs> yeah. has the who has the deepest truth or whatever, right? There's some clout there. Who, yeah, yeah, it's who, crazy. Who's the, who's the, crazy. the wokest? Yeah. The wokest of the woke of yeah. the woke. Oh, he's got this and that and that, and that. You know, going back to what Steve said, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? 
Helena Blavatsky, that, 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 but she smokes cigarettes, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She smokes cigarettes, though, bro. Hey, listen to her, I can't man. fuck bro. with her. <laughs> nah, I can't bro. fuck with her. She's smoking them cigarettes. Her. Yo, yeah. everything you just said resonated with me. Everything you just said burns my soul with fire. <laughs> but, yo, now that you do that, I can't fuck with you no more, bro. No, it'd it, it be like I that, believe, I believe it'd be like that. that. I be like that on some stuff, on be some like deep that. woke stuff, and and then they be like, "Yeah, man, but you know, God put Trump here for to 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 bring us into like." I'm like, "Oh, bro, <laughs> you lost me on the Trump thing, dog." So I had to I had to close my mouth because I lost I lost a lot of supporters and Christian friends and stuff because I would go yeah. in on Trump. I'll go in on both sides, right? And like they really feel like that dude is like got God ordained or whatever. And I would lose followers and, and people because I was being silly or sharing silly memes that I thought were hilarious about Trump. And I was like, Hold on, man, like some of the stuff I, yeah, I get need that. to keep to myself, man. Like it ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I need to keep the peace between my Trump supporters and the people who just think the whole thing's a sham, you know? Yeah. Cause Yo, Trump Trump is one thing. Real quick, Steve, Trump is one thing, but I went through this whole Eminem thing because Eminem was in the news and everything, and people were like, "Oh man, you're crazy!" You know, it, yeah, it was all about my my. It was all about who I was as a person. It wasn't about anything that I was saying, or even if it was factual. You know what I mean? It was just like, "How dare you attack my idol? You, I'm blocking you." And I'm like, "Wow, people are really that shallow." You know what I'm saying? They're not open to. Don't ever talk about their celebrities. Don't ever talk about their presidents or nothing because they'll cast you out like a leper, and they don't give a shit. They really don't. Sure. They will throw you. They will throw you to the wolves. Yeah, it's yep. real talk. But I will say this. I will say this. I'll add. I'm going to add to what you're saying. Is that the other side of things? Is that there is other people that do not fuck with those people at all. It's it's the other ones that are making the change. The ones that are working on themselves. The ones that don't. Ha- you know that that circle has gotten a lot smaller. The ones you're talking about has actually gotten bigger. So that's that's one of the things that's happening is that the the, the, the circle of, 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 of individuals that are doing the great work and, and putting an effort and really working on themselves and trying to connect and unify that that's um, I it's, it's like curating. It's curating its own size. But all the noise and nonsense is getting louder and bigger and louder and bigger and louder and bigger. And you know what? To my little my little two cents on what on what you said about um you know right like back then it was like yo i don't believe this i don't believe that but i still fuck with you and now it's like you need this initiation process whatever one of the biggest things that happened is that people stopped supporting one another support support to keep the community and family and movement and 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 and, you know the group mentality that is a righteous consciousness the support for that got filtered away and you know i i remember in 2000 and i think it was 2018 um when i was in philly for the million mask march i i mentioned i mentioned the similar thing like 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 yo like okay you hate trump or you you hate the government or you hate this, you hate what's going on. You don't like that. Da, 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 da. You're pissed. You just, you're disgusted about this. This is fucked up. This and that. Who have you loved today? You know what I'm saying? Like that, that type of question is not even in their mind. And the removal of loving yourself, self love, therefore you can't love others. Therefore you're not going to support each other. Commenting on, on, on social media has its, has its place. And then that's it. That's not like real, real, real support unless you're messaging someone privately and you're going through some shit and you're talking. That's a little bit different. Mm-hmm. But the support for each other, the support for, for, um, for, for, the, for the idea, that's what happened. The support for the idea got watered down. The support just trickled out a little bit. And people like myself who was like, all right, I need to just readjust shit, but I'm still going to stay in my lane. And I still know who I'm fucking with. And I still want to connect with people and I'm still going to support those that I feel needs my support, but everything else I need to just pull my hands off and let it just run its course. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yep. 
Yeah, it's definitely been an evolution. And it's not just been in that movement. It's been in a lot of different movements. I've been, you know, I come out of the, the church realm and, and it's very, very similar, like this religious movement or you, you either all with this or you're against this. If you disagree right. on one iota, then you're, you know, you can't, you can't play with us anymore type deal. So it's not just that movement. It's so many, uh, a couple more calls. You want to jump to some of these calls? What do you, what do you want to do, man? Let's go, bro. I'm here. here. You got me, bro. All right, I'm man. Here. So we got, uh, trying to end this show for three days. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what we do. And we keep going for another good <laughs> hour or two. Uh, we've already hit three Wait, hours. I- we're speaking with. This is Kevin from Chicago. What's going on, guys? What up? Yo. Uh, nothing much. Just digging your channel. I like what you guys are talking about. You're representing. You're uh, trying to find the truth. You're trying to dig a little deep. You're not brainwashed. Trying to buy into the system. You're asking questions. So I'm digging it. For sure, sure. man. Got any questions that you want to, or any points you want to interject? Yeah, the point I want to interject is um, kind of, the, I want to ask you guys a question. What, what religion, do you know any religion that is um, based off of race, based off of ideas, and blood? Oh, God. Why'd you ask that question? <laughs> I know too many of them, dog. Too many. All right, well, let's I start mean, from one that's mainstream, that has a lot of power. Judaism. Okay. Um, don't you find that kind of weird? Like, I know a religion that's based on blood and uh, ideas. Like, for Christians, it, it has nothing to do with blood. Like, there's Hispanic, um, there's nothing about uh, being, it's freaking, you could be a Caucasian, Hispanic, African, it doesn't matter. But when it comes to Judaism, it's all about being the, the seed of Abraham in, um, Ashkenazi, Sephardic, it's a race and a religion. So that's why Correct. Trump um, signed this new bill where, where anti-Semitism built. It just completely goes against everything what religion is about. Being the so-called chosen people. Um, Israel, this land is for Israel, uh, Jews, the chosen people of God. It's just uh, everything is coming full circle. And when you, when you really look into it, these self-proclaimed chosen people of God are bringing a lot of problems. You guys were talking about earlier when it comes to uh, sex and courting, porn. These are all Ashkenazi Jews producing this stuff in Hollywood. These Correct. filthy um, stuff. Well, I don't know. No if it's, I don't know if it's it. Jews. I think. I think. I think Steve would say it would be the Zionist uh, doing this, right? It would. They would be, yeah, because when you throw Jews around, it's well, they're either Zionists or at the higher, higher levels, Talmudists at that, at that level. Now you're dealing with Kabbalists because, um, yeah, dude, you're, you're, you're on point with where you're going with that. Um, it's just very, very difficult to generalize the Jewish supremacy or the Jewish people, um, yeah, the can't. self-proclaimed, because not all Jewish people, no. even Israelis. That, that, um, that, that would mean across see, the board all. Like to say that, you yeah, have yeah. to like be 100% across the board all yeah, yeah, Jews yeah. are doing this. But I get what he's saying. I know exactly what he's talking For about, sure. 100%. Um, and he's right. He's on point. Um, they, it doesn't matter what institution you go into at the highest level in the smallest, the smallest percentage, you will find um, uh, Jewish names. And then there's Jews that are that are Jews that don't know nothing and they're just regular Jews. And there's Jews that are like crypto Jews that they're pretending to be Jewish, but really they practice something totally different behind closed doors. Um, and then you even get into uh, there's, I've even, I've met, I've even met a satanic, um, a satanic Jew who was against Zionism and looked at Lucifer as the Lord of light, but not like a demon it would be the same Lord of light that maybe you and I would even consider our high God. His spin and his interpretation of it was just so unique. And it made me look at, at just, it made me look at Satanists different and it made me look at J- Jews different. You know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like, yo, this is an anomaly that exists. And this <laughs> dude is like, he understands what's going on, but yeah, bro, you go into the Kazarian mafia, the Kazars, um, the quote unquote Jewish people were uh, banned and kicked out and banished uh, 109 different countries over the, over the course of history. 
Um, and there's a reason for that because they, you know, they were merchants, you know, um, and there was a person in the, in the court system that would handle all the money. Um, and he was known as the Jew and to be something and I'm, I'm paraphrasing here a little, I'm probably butchering it a little bit, but basically like if you're in that form of money handling, you would be considered Jewish. So you're now then labeled and grouped with these money handler controllers. And this goes into controlling currency. Currency, of course, being a flow back into money flow, currency, banks. The banks current, are actually what's The stop. current of the sea. Boom. Current okay. Sea. Maritime and the banks law. stops the current and controls the current and the flow of where shit's going. So that's why banks are everywhere, whatever. But um, I guess to bring it all back full circle into a nutshell, um, when you get to the highest level, they're not even Jewish, dude. They're on some whole other shit, bro. Like some whole other shit. Like, yes, everything that he, he was saying from what I've gathered. Yeah, that's that's on point. So I feel him on that. All right. Got a caller from uh, Tennessee, the 931 area code. Who we speaking with? What's up, Truth Seeker? It's Christy. Who this is, Christy? What's happening Christy with you? Johnson. Welcome, welcome to the show, my friend. How are yeah, you? What's up? Yeah, I'm good. So I've been listening on and off. I just got off work and um, just wanted to pray with you guys because there's this Bible verse that is coming to mind, and it's, it's Daniel two twenty one, and it and it says, "And he changeth the times and the seasons. He removeth kings and setteth up kings. He giveth wisdom unto the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding." And just watching the impeachment today and all this and all that, you know, these people think that, you know, their vote matters. And, you know, it probably does to an extent. But the Bible verse just said, you know, he removes kings and he sets up kings. And, you know, just I don't know if that goes with what y'all are talking about. But um, I've been tuning in a little bit here and there. So I just want to pray, you know, over all this stuff that's going on in the world and all this craziness and for us to keep you know, keep the knowledge we need to get through it and not get caught up and, you know, just keep renewing our spirits daily, you know? For sure. Oh, yeah, because, like, that stuff is doing its job. It's doing what it was created to do, and it's pulled many people off the the – off the beaten path. I got friends that I talk to that we used to talk about spirituality. We used to talk about Christ. We used to talk about feeding the poor and helping people going to the inner cities. Now, every time I talk to this dude, mm-hmm. he wants to talk about Trump and politics and Pence and what they're And It's like, man, it's and in yeah. and, 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 and that same conversation with that guy I had today. I, I love him. He's a dear brother. And uh, I had a conversation with him today and he's talking about the power of reality TV and what reality TV was kind of like seeing what they can pass off as real and what we would accept. And we would watch it even though we knew it was fake. We know it's fake, but we still watch it anyway because it's entertainment. And so we talked about that. Then he wanted to talk about Trump. I said, hold on. That is the reality show. (laughs) <laughs> like you, th- what you just said, they want to show uh, WWE wrestling. We know it's fake, but we want to watch it because we love dinner in a circus. We want to be entertained. Them people have no bearing on that. This stuff is scripted by people who write these movies, and 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 there, there's some really dark people and some people who are really good at writing scripts and they're writing all this stuff and it's not by chance but uh but i don't think we should fear i don't think we should fret i don't think we should worry about all of this stuff that these people are doing i'm I'm with you christy we we follow god and truth and light so uh, um yeah christy i bless you for that that's real talk you know what i'm saying thank you for that for that for that type of energy um because correct that's that's actually one of the basis of everything we've been talking about which is having the awareness of how how deep and dark the control and what we're what we're dealing with and simultaneously still be grounded and be spiritually in tune to where you know what you have to do on this earth and you follow yourself and you be true to your heart and you follow alignment with your purpose and you help others and you help yourself and you do the great work so real real shit real talk i, I appreciate that yeah. But if you want to pray, yeah, Christy, you got the floor, my friend. You're always welcome to do that. Yeah, brother. You know how I do. I want to start it and you can finish. Is that okay? Sure thing. 
Okay. All right. I'm gonna say, uh, dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for this conversation, God. Thank you for for opening our eyes to see what is going on. And, and Lord, keep our eyes open, God. Keep them open so we can see that that you are the one who's in control, no matter what all these people are doing and and the links they go to to get their agendas pushed, God, we know that you are in control. You already wrote the script, Father. You already wrote it, Jesus. Thank you so much for this podcast. Thank you for for just keeping us in your your awareness, in your presence, in your glory. Lord, keep increasing our knowledge and our wisdom, Father. Just keep keep um keep our minds open to receive new revelations, God, and new ideas and, and keep our minds open to listen to other brethren and not not feel high minded or and just keep us humble, Jesus. And I want to thank you for everything you're doing and thank you for the people who are listening, God, who are interested and who who understand and who get it, Father. And thank you for True Seeker and for this guest. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Amen. you. Amen. I'll just Beautiful. say, Father, I thank you for uh, your love, God. I thank you for your protection that you have for your children. I thank you that even though a, a thousand may fall at our right, ten thousand at our left, Lord, that no harm shall come nigh thy dwelling. And even when the world is in chaos and all of this crazy stuff that we've been talking about, that we do have a peace that surpasses all understanding and that we will not be yep. moved in, 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 in like, like the wind or, or the waves. And uh, we will not be moved like the person who builds their house on sh- on shifting sands, but that we build our foundation on love and of light. And that love is Christ. So, Father God, we thank you for everything that you're doing in the hearts and minds of the people taking us to these new levels, Father, that our light will shine even brighter in these dark days. And we give you thanks and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 All Thank right, you for guys. The call, you have a good night. Thank, Thank you, my you, friend. Sister. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for Enjoy. giving us some light. Amen. I love it. That's real. Good that was stuff. beautiful. Good stuff. One last caller here, <laughs> Diane. Uh, it says Diane. Uh, <laughs> caller from be, a caller from the 773 It's going to be 2020. We still going to be on. <laughs> We're going to bring in the new year. How y'all doing? What's going on? Yo. Man, you guys cut me off last time, so I'm going to make my point real quick. Um, you, Your guy was, he was spitting it. He was spitting. When people bring up Jewish power or Jewish supremacy, of course, not all Jews. I shouldn't have to say that. Not every single Jew is part of this, but the overwhelming majority. You look at someone like Adam Schiff, who's supposed to be this. Uh, I don't know, dog. I'm not going to, I don't want to go into the, we're going to end it on a light note. I'm sorry. I don't want to talk. The, the the overwhelming majority of Jews are on this sinister plot to uh, rule the world or take over the world. The overwhelming majority is kind of a a big number there. So I just want to I want to end it on a light note, man. Sorry for cutting you off there, but uh, we did we did kind of go into that a little bit. There's some stuff in there with Zionism. There's some stuff with some some uh, bankers and, and greedy people. And uh, I think that greed and I think that uh, lust and power knows no no boundaries and it knows no skin colors, race, or creeds. And I know people who follow those same books that are not Jewish who have the same sinister plots and sinister hearts and they're in their part of different religions that are very similar at the same time and they do work off a of race. So and that's just a whole nother episode. Uh and uh I don't wanna I don't wanna I don't wanna end on that note. I think it's been a beautiful conversation, man. We've covered a lot of ground. But I'm gonna give it over to you, Steve. Like is there anything else that you wanna mention? What you got going on, bro? You seems like you're kinda stepping away from the music a little bit doing a little bit more that that uh, inner work, some more teaching. That's one thing, again, when you gave the kudos to me at the beginning about, hey, you telling me I'm doing a podcast and I'm getting the information out there. You've been in the streets. You've been putting boots on the ground. You've been doing the activism work, like, literally out there. Uh, so kudos, uh, kudos and hats off to you for that. Where, where, where are you headed now, man? 2020 is going to be big. A lot of people are getting ready for this. Uh, and, and I think a lot of people are preparing themselves spiritually. We have some spiritual retreats that we're hosting. and We're ready to, to tap into 2020 and um, really talking about a lot of the stuff that we talked about at the beginning, kind of getting our hearts right, our minds right, finances in order so that we're able to help people, help our families and all that kind of stuff. But where are you headed with 2020, man? Let us know where, where you're headed with that. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, that was that was you hit it. You hit it on point with that because you know the thing is, yeah, like you, you don't you want to go, you want to go, and you don't want to burn yourself out. And I did that a few too many times, so I had to I had to master being able to deliver, and then also 
heal and replenish. I wasn't always healing and replenishing. I was just busting, 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 busting. So, you know, towards the, towards the end of this year, I really started, yeah, going more inward. And I feel that that's also just part of this massive new wave, new shift of people that are there that, that it, that it, that it like, if you've been in this for a while, there's now this new level of upgrade. There's now this new level that you need to take up like any individual, you're probably at a plateau right now. And I'm saying that off of what I've observed. People are out there at plateaus. You've maxed out yourself. You need to level up. You are the gigantic fucking goldfish in the fishbowl. You outgrew it. It's now time for some fucking new shit, new experiences, new people, new information, new teachers, new coaches, new masters. You have to stimulate yourself with newness that is going to create a pattern interrupt and give you brand new value in your life. Because I'll tell you what, bro, how many times does someone want to be like, yo, my friend is homeless. Please. Can you send some money to over here, over here, or go fund me for this event or go fund me for this, or we have an event. We need to raise this much. Well, what if, what if, you know, everyone's like, you know, fuck money, fuck money, or, you know, the, the bankers, this, the bankers, that, but like at the end of the day, you still need that money to do the fucking yeah. the shit that needs to get done. Yeah. So how beautiful would it be if you work on wealth and learning what wealth is and the true wealth to where you can actually come out and be, and hear someone, yo, we have this event going on. We're trying to raise some money. Oh, okay. Here's $5,000. Shut the fuck up. Let's go. Done. For sure. For sure. You, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, with the music shit, I got a new, uh, I got a new video coming out with uh, Mr. Diesel Automatic. Uh, It's called Upset the Setup. It's uh, Stand Tall Part 2. And um, I actually don't even know when he's dropping that video. So otherwise, I would say (laughs) probably, I don't know. With him, he he holds on. He holds on to shit. He he holds shit in the clip and wait to fire it out. You know what I'm saying? Um, But yeah, uh, they'll probably maybe drop the end of this year around that um and you know what like i'm gonna be focusing on creating a a new foundation for myself so i will be able to do what i'm supposed to be doing which is coaching and teaching and providing a space for people to have trust comfort and humility so that they can learn from me and get themselves leveled up to where they become a new teacher of the new world. We need more students and we need more teachers. And the true trick is we're actually both. It's just a matter of knowing when yeah. to, you know, to play the part. Yeah, man. I've, I've often said that I, I can't, um, I can't learn from anybody who's not teachable. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like if I'm going to sit under somebody and learn, like they have to be apt to learn from me, you know what I'm saying? And not just me, but just everything, like what, what we bring to the table. And that's really how, knowledge is to to think that we've arrived that we finally made it it doesn't work like that so bro i really appreciate uh hanging out with you man where's the links that we should tell people to go to should they just look you up on youtube and check out some of the the, the new stuff i like diet woke bro diet woke was was one of my favorites so that that, was a good one okay okay yeah (laughs) go look up steve grant diet woke that's that one's pretty vicious yeah i mean you just youtube steve grant find me on the facebook shit you could uh instagram is a real Steve Grant. That's on Instagram. It is real Steve Grant. Hit me up, message me, find me on Facebook, YouTube. The rest is history, man. You know what I'm saying? So like, and guess what, bro? You've you you've inspired me because I want to get I I want to be doing what you're doing, bro. I want to I want to have a legit podcast doing the same exact shit, bro. So I'm thinking about starting that. a network, man. I have the ability to start a network and have a bunch of shows tiered under a banner and help promote them and get them out there Word. to an already existing okay. audience. So talk to me, man, when you want to get in about setting that up. So it may be something we can do. Okay. Have the okay. ability to do it. Yo, it has been a fucking massive honor, bro. Huge appreciation. Uh, respect for just having me on the show. Respect for what the fuck you do. And respect for the shit that you're going to do in the future that i haven't even seen yet so you already know brother i like where you're at man i like you're you're in a you're in a really good place right now bro and i i respect it and respect everything you've done up to this point but you're in a really good spot right now really enjoy this conversation bro we'll have to do it again you let me know whenever you want to do it 
and uh, you're free to Word. come on. Let's make it happen. You got it, brother. All right, brother. Have a good one. We'll do it again. You too, homie. All right, All peace, right, peace. Love. Steve Grant, ladies and gentlemen. Good stuff. Diet Woke is that song. Man, he's been he's been uh he's been a forerunner. He's been consistent. He's been one who's been here for a long time and and who's still here. It's kind of sad like when you start with people and you see these people like I mean people even blasting off like people making a, a, a lot of noise, good music, uh you know what I'm saying, revolutionaries and uh, spiritual revolutionaries for that matter. And uh but then they kind of teeter off and they die off and they um they don't make it. So one thing about Steve Grant, that brother's been here for a long time. Ever since I got into this thing, started doing the the revolutionary music. It was a little bit after and I got into it. I heard about his music and then some Diesel Automatic. It was a little bit later, but they they were there and they're still here. So shout out to him and everything that he's doing. And I, I'm I'm really excited to to see where he is at and uh, right now spiritually, mentally, and all the names that he was dropping at the beginning. As long as you, I think if you're listening to those people, you're in good hands. You know, because there's some some things that uh, that I'm listening to. Some of those same people that he mentioned that's uh, going to help us out. I think it's it's not all it's not all materialistic. It's not all money and wealth and how to you know work the system and all that kind of stuff. But then again, I don't think it's all spiritual either. All on the spiritual side, I think there's a balance. There's a balance that uh, is supposed to happen, and you're supposed to balance the two and walk that fine line in the middle. Um, you're so spiritual that you're no earthly good or you're too materialistic that you don't have time for the little people or for the spiritual matters in life. So it really is about walking that balance so that you can, um, you know, be well, a well-rounded individual, you know, and, uh, and, and a lot of people don't, that, that that's a huge disconnect. So I think that's, that's why it was so much of a, um, a revelation for him to kind of come into and a revelation for me. I mean, there were times in my life where we, I just kind of, thought money was evil and you know money all kind of stuff. I didn't want it and I bad associations with it and um all kind of stuff thought that money meant that you always had to work hard and mo- having money meant that you were never there for your family or whatever the case is but man we're having this new relationship and this new view of of money and of wealth and it, it, you have to spend money to make money scared money don't make no money without money this doesn't happen at all so thank you guys for all the support uh, from the from the least to the greatest. For those of you who are able to support financially, to those of you who call into the podcast and contribute knowledge and information, those of you who pray, those of you who share out the, the, the podcast and stuff like that and the music and all that stuff, everybody plays a part. So I'm grateful for every single person. So thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. <clears throat> if you'd like to support, go to my Patreon, check out what I got. Try to make it worth your while. 200 songs. You get it for $5. Hey, it's whatever. Um, you get all, all kind of cool stuff for $5, really. But go check it out. Patreon.com backslash True Seeker. Um, we got our men's retreats coming up. We got our uh, January retreat. It's booked up. We're booking for April. It's booking up. So uh, those seats are going slowly but surely. We got an event coming up in April, men's retreat. So if the, that looks like something that you want to do, uh, go to truthseeker.com. Check out the info that I have there. Again, the book, all that stuff's available. Spirit Realm, get it on Amazon. With that, I'm going to say peace and shalom. Really enjoyed this episode, and uh, we'll do it again. Peace, peace. Have a book, product, or service you'd like to promote? Yeah. Look no further. Ad slots and commercials are now available for you to get the word out about what you do on the Truth Seeker Podcast. We give you what you need. Get it. Engage the spiritual community and get yourself instantly in front of thousands of listeners who explore the spiritual, paranormal, supernatural, religious, and metaphysical realms. Have your commercial inserted into our entire archive of episodes. That includes the one with Jordan Maxwell, James Gilliland, Dr. Michael Heiser, and that weird one with Busy Bone from Bone Thugs and Harmony. Stop sleeping on yourself. Know your worth. Let's get the word out today about what you have to offer. Head on over to TruthSeeker.com and click on Advertise for more info. Yo, That's it for this episode, folks. To hear more episodes of the Truth Seeker podcast, head over to truthseeker.com. And if you're wanting to support the show and get rewards, go to our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash truthseeker.